feel about the gays? You see, the thing about the gays. I was about to say, that might be the first time. CFB Radio. I am your host, Charlie Machine, alongside Auntie Now. Mm. Hey, Auntie. Why are you saying so disgusting Auntie like that? <laughs> See, the teammate that came up with it, he said it so effortlessly. Who? I'm not telling you who came up with it. Whatever, Auntie. Um, and my fault right here. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Man, cash, no motherfucking oh, sense. Goodness. Yeah, I mean, Jeez, we all way. choose what the future brings. As black culture through black. music, episode no. one seventy. We in the garage media center, man. That's at the Sound Lab in Brockton. Make some noise for the Sound Lab, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, whoa. Gang, gang. Where creators create, gang, gang. like my man Cash like Where to creators say. Creators create, goddammit. Yeah, you know I mean, shout out to all the creatives in here, man. Of course, Nicole, she in the building, man. Uh, where my man Kong get it on that? He in here. All. Somewhere, man, Thank shout you. out to all the guys in the studio upstairs, man. If y'all don't know that there's actually a studio upstairs, there's two rooms, the altitude room and the elevation room, right? Okay. Right? Okay. Um, one of them looked like you on cloud nine. The other one looked like you in outer space, mm. right? I mean, it's crazy, man. Uh, state of the art <laughs> equipment in there. Um, you got some of the illest engineers and producers from out here. Smart Shout out my niggas. man J Rose. Shout out my Dark man niggas. Devo. Shout out my man <laughs> Samba. Samba, nigga. Samba in the building. Uh, That's you know S V. I mean? Yeah. NBA. Right, right, right. In case you motherfuckers don't know how to MBV? spell shit like that. S V M B V. Is that like a millennial thing? All of that. I don't know. I like what it. The fuck you know what I mean? The under, the under, the, it's not, it's not a V. It's a under, it's a upside down A, right? That's Just in case you didn't know. I mean, it's you know a what V, saying? right? And all of that, right? But, uh, but yeah, man, Sound Lab, man, home of the testing lab as well. We had an ill ass testing lab event two nights ago, man. My man Luki Spitter in the building, man. He actually killed the testing lab two nights ago. Uh, my man Mission Mike in the Mr. building. Mike in the yes. building. Um, shout out to the sponsor for this episode, man. Yes. Mon Club Duvin. You know what I mean? Shout out my man Duvin. AB in the building. Yes. Um, yeah, yes. Man. We yeah, clap for that one. Let's clap it up for that, man. Yeah. Let's clap yeah. it up for that. Yeah. Yeah. Mon Club Duvin, man. We got special um, cups for this. Duvin. In case y'all didn't know what Duvin means, that's wine. That's French, nigga. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> Ooh, the pinky out. <laughs> it's French, nigga. I'm on that white right now. This that's is that Yvonne. Yeah, that, that Yvonne. <laughs> right? That's and then yeah, you got Yvonne the red. It's really good. Because the Colleen. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta, you gotta say it with the, with the, with the French I drawl saw. and all of that shit. Do so y'all like to let y'all wine around? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, you got to yeah. sniff that shit. Mm. Mm. That's mm. mad aggressive. And wine is supposed to be very smooth, mm -hmm. Cash. Mm -hmm. You make me not even want to drink this shit. You make wine mm. sound like fucking Hennessy. We had cups in the rap, yeah, nigga. That's how you got to nah, say it don't, tonight, don't, man. Don't disrespect but the wine. Either way, man, no, this, this going to be shit. a fire episode, man. Um, how y'all guys been, man? How was y'all last seven days? Damn. I don't even remember. You know what's crazy, man? Cause, because we, we, we literally hear every single week. I, <laughs> I feel like I just keep looking forward to the next one every week that... I kind of forget about what the hell be going on. Yeah, you don't even pay attention to yeah. what's in yeah, it between. It should be feeling jumbled up. It yeah. is. So I'm tired of you tough. asking me about my last seven days on dog. Right? Like that shit, we need to X That's that why out. I like skipping a week or so. <coughs> like just so I, I have must something. Must be nice, nigga. Yeah, it must be nice. <laughs> you have an option. You do. True. He yeah. can run this shit by himself, he right? He really can. He don't need he us. He buttons by himself. I'll we just, don't, hello. Have you ever pushed any gunshot buttons? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just... Yeah, you know I mean, I can interview myself. I just practically you know, couch to couch just and like shit talk like to that. You know, all you know, you got the headphones on simply so you can hear yourself. He don't give a no, fuck just so I can sound. hear you, motherfuckers. Y'all yeah, yeah, sure. niggas be trying to have side conversations yeah. like there's not a microphone right in front of y'all. Right, right. That shit's so crazy. Like, yo, nigga, what you say? What you say about that shit? It's like, nigga, I can hear you, bro. Like, everybody can hear you. Like, everybody? Yeah, nigga, yes. Oh. Yeah, like everybody who, who listens. But anyway, well, whatever, man. nigga. Today was great. Like, how about today? Today. today was beautiful. Today was a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. Outside Shout out to was global outside. warming, nigga. Yeah, Shout out to global was warming, outside. nigga. Global warming's the shit. It was yeah. beautiful. Nigga tried to tell me that shit was bad. Global was warming nice. is global warming. Like, what you mean? Right now. It was 85 degrees today, it was nice. boy. 
Yeah. It is the beginning of April. Yeah. 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 Um, we had had no snow this yeah. year. Barely. Just a little bit. We yeah. had like I was looking flips. at a snowblower yeah. all year. Yeah, for no reason. <laughs> no reason <laughs> at all. I was looking at that shit like, I'm going to buy you, motherfucker. <laughs> Once I see that snow coming down. <laughs> nope. Global woman helped me down. Yeah, so shout I'm out saying. Al Gore, my nigga. Al you know Gore did saying? that shit. Shout yeah, out to Al, Al Gore, Gore did nigga. that shit. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, oh yeah. my yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. He was all talking about ice caps when I was in the fourth grade. Yeah, fuck an like ice that. cap, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it got to melt, let it melt. That's what ice do. It melt. Why yeah. niggas tripping? Ice does melt. This is, <laughs> this is very true. Hello. This is very true, but. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, Jello de re tío, my nigga. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that means. That's just melted. That's just melted ice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. melted ice for niggas. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, right. This nigga, okay, I senor. Got All right, but uh, <laughs> right. fucking. Oh, I wanted to talk about real quick because I don't want to stay on this with you know the Saxons that I'm warring with right now. Yeah. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The they stand no chance. First off, I spoke to my lawyer. He's like, they have no case. There's no fucking way. Right? Nice. Um, Lawyers Jewish, and, right? And um, um, yes, I believe so. Um, I'm actually, no, no, I don't believe he's Jewish. No? Either way, it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, he's right. rich as fuck, right. and he's Saxon, okay? That's true. So, <laughs> shout out to put my him lawyer. In the fight, I don't even want to put his name in there, because, you know what I mean? I ain't pay him yet. So, um, <laughs> so <laughs> pay for the consultation. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? You got a case. <laughs> you know what I mean? I get it. I just want to be like, yo, let me know how this look. Right yeah. Here. He was like, they, they got nothing to stand on. Nice. Um, but the article that was written about me and my wife um, by, uh, what's that bitch ass nigga's name? Uh, oh, damn. Uh, we going to talk Aiden, about him? Aiden Kearney. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's wait, racist somebody as fuck. wrote an article? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. About that whole situation. Oh, yeah. So, damn, what I happened talk about this. was one of them upset Saxon mothers. I saw that. Reported it to him. Is that the one under the comments? Nah, that wasn't even her. And I thought she was one of the good ones, you know? Mm. But um, um, I guess not. And um, But anyway, somebody totally unrelated who was upset that, you know, my wife brought it to the attention of other Saxon mothers who were outraged about the situation. They couldn't stand the fact that a black person enticed this outrage within the suburban mm. community considering that we don't live in the burbs nigga. we we live in boston right and uh yeah this this motherfucker he's an investigative journalist and he got everything wrong <laughs> this he, motherfucker he he posted a video of, of last, last days, days saying that that was me <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Not all black people look alike. Oh Aiden, my fucking god! Aiden, Aiden, I'm oh sorry. My god. Uh, oh my god! We all and are then, not and the then, same. And then, and then he quoted. He said he got. She she probably didn't have incredible dick sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Lance Days. <laughs> Shout out my man Days, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Send me that. Y'all gotta uh, oh, send And I was so confused. He really thinks our last name's Machine. He li- he thinks we live in Mattapan. <laughs> <laughs> Worst investigative journalist yo, I've ever yo, met in yo, my life. Yo, the Fuck. most racist part was, right, he looked up Chiz's tweets, and when he searched it, the bolded letters are niggas. Right, right. <laughs> he looked up niggas. He was so excited to look that word up. He was but like, it goes he looked to show up you. all the tweets, and Chiz says niggas. Oh, there's mad all his tweets, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I was like, yo, I say nigga a lot on Twitter. That nigga, could, he loves typing that word. That shit probably like yo, auto-populated time, as soon as he hit N. As time. soon as he went over his keyboard, that shit was like, did you mean nigga? <laughs> <laughs> did you mean nigga? <laughs> Every oh time God. I said nigga or bitch, he bolded that shit, which was crazy. Um, but I think you're a bitch, Aiden. Um, and um, coming from this nigga... Um, yeah, you suck <laughs> at your job. Word. Anyway, I'm I don't want to get too much into him, but oh yeah, my he, God. he's he's horrible at his job. Mm. But anyway, man, what else is going on in the world, man? That that, that Joe that shit was wrecked. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna bring that yeah, article up. I you should have to. told me. I would have been more prepared. I had to. good, better shit. <laughs> <laughs> Since we still on the topic of kids, and y'all want to talk about Shaq and his kids and on being rich? Oh shit! Oh yeah, Shaq, yeah, what yeah, Shaq yeah, say yeah. About his kids. So he said he's not going to give his kids no money. He's not going to leave them no money unless they give him two degrees each. 
Right. Oh, I didn't hear oh, that. Oh, he's not going to leave them no more. Oh, he watched right. too much power. He want two degrees. <laughs> he said he watched too much power. <laughs> That's uh, that bullshit. Nah, so, I mean, how y- what was your take on that, man? Jackie Chan said it to his son, too. He said, I'm rich. Yeah. He not rich. Right. So, like, I, I, I understand the idea, but it's like, all in all, nigga, like, you, who you going to leave it to? Charity. Like, Charity. That, that's what a lot of them are saying. Charity, right? They want to donate a large part of their fortune to charity causes, and their kids are gonna have to fend for themselves. I'm not gonna hold you. My uncle passed away. He was a pastor, and he held a million dollars in cash he donated to the church when he passed away, and he gave his kids under like ten grand each. Ooh. Why? Why do you think that is? <sighs> um, I feel like it's the relationship with the kids. You think it's based off of the relationship? I feel like it like got to be not having a good relationship with your children? Yeah. So you basing that off, that's an isolated situation. You're nah, talking about I'm, your uncle. But yeah, but I think about but I think <laughs> about Shaq and his kids. I'm sure not all of them could I dunk a basketball. A, I'm pretty and I'm sure they disappoint yeah. them. They don't get 10 rebounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? I they think they have a good relationship. They relation don't have no though. drop steps. All my, they all my kids are tall for no reason. They'll never be like the Shaq this. I'm sure he has a tough time. But Shaq is also, I don't know. I'm the most dominant basketball player <laughs> he ever. He said, but he, he gave him a goal, though. He gave him something to, to two strive. Two degrees. It, two degrees. That's not excessive. So, okay, if they get two degrees, he'll leave them a certain something, amount of money? Something. He'll yeah, leave but if they don't something. get two degrees, he they won't don't leave get them But, anything, nigga, right? Shaq is still paying for them to get them degrees. Right. Mm. But but I'm going to tell you like this, though. I think that's that's a force. Not every kid is going to want to go to college. True. You know what I mean? Like it's True. it's not fair to hold that over your kid's head and Nigga, say, "Could you well, have a drop step in a thirty-five inch vertical leap?" What if one of his kids was wild, <laughs> nice at business, and they understood numbers, and they knew how to run a business, and they and they were great leaders, and they knew mm-hmm. how to delegate work? Why wouldn't you want to be the startup to one of your kids' ideas or whatever the case may be? It's like, yo, dad, I got this business plan. Nigga, you ain't got two degrees. I don't want to hear shit. So you think you don't think that he's willing to take that same money because we know he's paying for the degrees to get got right. So you don't think he's willing to take that same bread to put towards like his kids wanting to do a business instead? I would hope so. I think so. I think he would. I feel like he's just saying. Shaq sits in front of a green screen. I'm sure 23 hours a day, right? Doing different commercials, bringing the general, my hanging out with the general, bringing the fucking uh, icy hot nigga. Where where is me this time? Is he on my shoulder? Papa John's. Like what you got? Like bring them all in. Like you can't tell me Shaq is not gonna. Don't don't Shaq like own part of Forever Twenty One. Yo, Shaq, Shaq owns Shaq a lot of shit. Yeah, shit. Yeah, he's he part owns owner a lot of mad stuff. Shit. I mean, I feel like in hindsight, he's he's trying to teach his kids that you know they everything's not handed to you. You right. don't get no handouts. Now these charities and things that he will be leaving his money for if his kids don't get the degrees, they need it. <laughs> Shaq's kids don't necessarily need it. They're Shaq's kids their mom is doing well in life and in business and they should be able to get paid off of their likeness right so wow, i think he's just trying to teach them that you know work ethic he's he's probably trying to you instill so? certain values in them nigga you, you betting on me gaining gains off of my last name yes if you die and don't leave me shit for the rest of my life you think that's that's what you leave me with is my last name to just be like to try to go get some shit so what would y'all do if y'all was in that situation? But I'm just saying. As far as being financially wealthy. If I'm then, Shaq? Yeah, if y'all was Shaq. I'm leaving my kids something, nah. Because you know what? I have faith and I trust that I'm going to raise my kids a certain way and they're going to know what to do with that money. What if they wildly irresponsible? That's going to be on them and that's a lesson that they have to learn in life. I'm not in control of that. Because I have a friend who her parents are pretty well off, right? Mm-hmm. You know, working class people, right? You know who I'm talking about, right? And mm. I'm sure that, you know, they're going to leave their kids some chicken, right? <laughs> and But mm. with mm. who's being responsible with the money, they already discussed who's going to be responsible for the money and who gets, you know, to, to, to make decisions on what happens with said money in certain aspects. Oh, they already did? Yeah. Hmm. Is it the person that we know? And it's, yes. Yeah. So she's one of them. How much money is she getting? I'm (laughs) (laughs) not sure. I don't know those specifics, but what I'm saying is maybe being spoiled their whole lives cripples Mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. (coughs) 
Cause it's like you spoiled brat. Who the fuck do mm-hmm, you think mm-hmm. you are that you entitled entitled to what I have worked so hard for? What will that teach you? But so far, if you coddled me all this long and I'm eighteen, nineteen, and you think you're gonna just cut me off, nigga, I'm gonna go crash every car in this time. <laughs> 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 like, what are you talking about? This is if true. you are a multi millionaire, you've done your kids done seen nothing but all the like you done took them all their lives. Now you're like, nigga, now it stops. Nigga, I'll go crazy. But see, this is what I'm <laughs> he saying. He also I got would, like I would five hope. or six kids, right? Uh, he got, he I think got, it's like four of them. Yeah, he, he, got, he, got, he got. Unless he has some outside of. Um, Shawnee. Shawnee, yeah, O'Neal. I don't know. But again, I, I honestly, I, know, I would hope that he has instilled certain nah. things in them. That way, it's not like a like. I think it's just that shocking. I think it's a ploy. But it's this but it's is good. Shaq that we're talking it's about, and, and it's not. And, and, and a lot of wealthy people do the same thing. So it's not yeah. just Shaq. Yeah. I, I heard Bill Gates is doing something similar. You know what I mean? Um, well, Bill Gates also wants to be like the greatest supervillain we've ever met in real life. But um, but that's another story. But what I'm saying is, when you have that much money and you have that much influence, and you have like, because imagine what that type of money can do for somebody, right? It can either make them really, like, you know, well off and really successful, or it can turn them into, a, like, a ridiculous monster. Absolutely. Because money only makes you more than what you already are, mm-hmm. right? So if you a straight demon already, mm. imagine you a demon with 500 M's. <laughs> Woo! That's scary. You become future. <laughs> I was thinking of somebody. I was thinking of somebody. I, I was a good But anyway, man. I mean, I would, I would, I would leave money for my kids, man. I mean, I, I, I definitely wouldn't want to see my kids starve. Yeah, if they fuck to. it up, that's on them. Then there goes the, there goes the, right. the wealth, right? right? But you know that you did what you did because you wanted to set your family up. You know, you start, you know, a, a, a trust and all of that shit. I don't, I don't speak that language because I ain't there. But I don't know how it worked. But what I'm saying is. Feed the family, man. Oh, my I dog. Like that. I like that too. You know what I mean? Um, what else y'all want to talk about? That's it, man. I ain't got shit else. Oh no, he wanted to talk about um <clears throat> NLE Chopper. NLE Chopper. Nah, yeah. let, 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 let's talk about this with our guests, man. Because that'll be good. Because I want to, yeah. I want to talk about the ratings, and then yeah, we're gonna bring her in, and then, and then we gonna, you know what I mean? We gonna do what it do. Um, but <laughs> yeah. all right. So this week, Red Cups and ratings, man. We always have two albums, you know, um, and these guys, these are people that we, we we love a lot, man. This week, these are guys that we rated before. These are guys that have been on the platform before. Guys that are, you know, front running the yeah. the the scene on multiple levels, man. So this week, we gonna start off with my man Body Rock, Body Rock, Body Rock <laughs> on Dog Snicker. This one's called <laughs> Dogston to Hoot York. I'm in it's the a, art now. Yo, I'm, he's in the art now, man. It's a 10 track project. That's my new shit. It's about 24 minutes long. What y'all think? Go ahead, girl. I can go first. Yeah, go ahead. First of all, I'm still trying to digest the last one. Okay. Right? This shit is crazy. Like, yeah. Body's work ethic is ridiculous. He be flexing. It's out of this world. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to play catch up. But I will say. I really like this one. I yeah. love how he toned down all the ad libs in the background. <laughs> like this was much better to digest. Yeah. Um, Body, he's Body is Body. He's gonna, you know, he's just having fun. He's being himself. Body's talking shit. He's doing what he does. I think y'all said it before. He's not one of those type of artists that's just like you gonna listen to him for a hard bar, right? right? He's just he's talking his shit. He's gonna say what he's gonna say. He's having fun with it, right? And I thought this was very very good to listen to. I kind of got like a boom bap vibe. Oh for right? sure, yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, I thought it was me. I'm like this yeah, is all boom bap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Kevin boom bap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is like a, this is a good boom bap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is yeah, a boom yeah, bap yeah, that yeah, I like. Your ears mad golden on dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Cause when you be saying shit and me and Chiz be like, man, that be bullshit. The artist be like, nah, nah, nah. She right. I'm telling you, I can hear it. Right. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, nigga, that, that's the last thing you needed to say. Well, yeah, yeah, I get it. If I'm right, I'm right. Back. It's all right. It's, it's like the name of it, so it's like you get the New York vibe. Yeah. Dogs, you know what I'm York. saying? Yeah. yeah. What was your favorite song? Um, you gonna feel me? You gonna best feel production, me. Okay. best song on the project. You think so? Okay. That and Hip Zeppy. 
Okay. Yeah. That one hit home, huh? That hip zappy. Yeah, hey, mom and pop. Like, remember hip zappy? Of yeah. course. Oh, my God. All the shoes in plastic. That shit brought me yep. back. Yeah. Uh-huh. Got my jabos there. <laughs> what, what about you, Cash, man? What you think, bro? Nah, this was body rock. Mm-hmm. This, is, this, is, this is premium body rock. Like, I'm not... I'm not surprised at none of these projects. Like when I hear him, like I'm just, I'm at ease when I hear him. Yeah, because like, he's still, he's him. You know what I mean, he's only getting better too. Honestly, I thought this one was way more refreshing than the last one. Um, the one from what was the last the one? The, See, the like last one was the one that he did with uh, Magnetic. That was the one oh, with okay, Al Davino. Okay, okay. um, yeah, because that was that was Al Davino sound. Right. That was a, that was more of an Al Davino sound. With body rock on it, yeah, right? exactly. Because Aldevino produced every single yeah, record on that yeah. last one. Um, this one right here, I felt was more chosen by body rock, and yeah, not only chosen, it's literally embodying where he's at right now with his career, man. Yeah. Dogs in the Hoot York, like he moved from Boston to New York, and yeah. and that's where he's on right now. And he got New York rappers to get on it too. So um, I, I love uh, track two, uh, Who and Characters. With mm. Al Davino hitting character and SC Knack, man, that, that shit, shit was that hard, was bro. Hard. Um, but I, one. La, 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 la. I don't know how many lies it is. That but, one was good too. But my favorite one gotta be Bendicion, man. That yeah. Shit. Really? Yeah. yeah nigga. When I say Bendicion, man. Well, you yeah, I mean, we spent a lot of time around Hispanics and shit, man. So, yeah. like, you know, so that's that, how that you hit salute. different that's for us. That's how you salute the elders, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, like, we go to Narcy's crib. It's like it's like it's like it's like blessings, like you know what I mean. Okay. Like when you, you go to you know what I mean. I go to Narcy's crib, like you know he see his mom, he's like see on mommy, you know what I mean. Like he go to his grandma's house, see on my mom, like you know what I mean. It's wow. like it's just a, a level of respect, you know what I mean. And I, I need my blessings from my OGs and shit, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So um, it, it brought me to a space that that felt comfortable, and I love Dusty Reynolds. Dusty yeah, Reynolds yeah. is literally the 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 Hoot York version yeah, of, of Body Rock. Rock. Oh, dog. When I seen them on stage together at the Sonya, I was like, these are the same people. That's just crazy. Like, these <laughs> niggas is literally the same person. It's just one's from New York, one's from Boston, man. So to, to see these guys click up together, man, I, I think it's a beautiful thing. And I think it's definitely gonna bridge the gap from, you know, the uh this sound, like that boom bap sound from Boston to New York. Because yeah. a lot of people are saying Feed the Family's bringing real hip hop back mm-hmm. to Boston, you know what I mean? Because a lot of guys, you know, they doing the the the, the uh, you know the uh, the melodic shit. They doing the the drill, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the trap. Yep. But it's like, let's go back to what the fuck made Boston the Boston. Origin, right? yeah. You know what I mean? And, and and you know, you talking about, you know, Guru. Um, you know, you talking about uh. uh What's my man's name in the Bulldogs, man? Uh, shit, I'm drawing a blank right now. God damn. Um, at OG. At OG okay. and the Bulldogs. Uh, you know, acrobatic. You know, all these older cats, man. Terminology, Dre Robinson. All these ga- guys who I grew up on. You know what I mean? And this is that sound, man. And, and, and these dudes are just coming from a, a trapper's vibe and just, you know, just filthy. Like, it's grimy. Yeah, it's grungy. It's grungy. But it's fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I smoke to this whole shit. Yeah. We know. You smoke to everything, nigga. <laughs> Zing's Love Air Maxes is, is fire, too, man. Yeah, Fenway Park is my shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fenway Park Fenway overdose. Fenway Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said his Zen sound like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Zing Hogan. Zing nah, I mean, Hogan. honestly, this, this has, like, incredible replay value for me. Y'all know this yeah. is my shit. Yeah. It's the type of shit that I ride around and listen to, man. I don't smoke no more, but if I did... I would definitely smoke one while riding around. This, you know what I'm saying, man? I got you, gang. <laughs> what y'all got else? What, what, what else y'all got for this, man? Before we talk about the rating, nothing. This was really good. All right, man. So, out of five red cups, we gave my man Body Rock Dogston Dogston to who? York a solid four point two yeah. out of five red cups, man. Shout out my man Body Rock, Body Rock, Body Rock, Body Rock. It's you, nigga. Uh, I'm in the art on dogs, nigga. You in the art now? I'm in the art now. <laughs> <laughs> I like that shit, man. Um, all right, man. So this next one, you know, this right here, I, I love to see this guy's success, man. He, oh yeah, he, he's doing his thing, oh, yeah. like all around, you know, internationally. The star, he's kid. selling out everything on his tour the star, right now. Kid. 
You know what I mean? He's the golden child of CMB. We talking about my man Millie's yeah. with, with Blanco Six. Six. This right here is 18 tracks long, 47 minutes long, man. What y'all think? Ahead, just five star. Oh yeah, ten Damn, star. You just going, you just gonna start with that. I like, mean, fuck you, it, like you, you this. Start with that. I didn't even have to play it a second time to know that this this is top ten I had quality. To play it a time. I didn't. I had to. I didn't. I really, I really nah, felt I this project. I didn't, I didn't have to play it a second time. But yeah, ahead. I mean, I did play it multiple times just because I really enjoyed it, but I didn't have to to know what I was going to rate it. Mm. It was very enjoyable, like. Millie's is okay. Y'all seen Tarzan? <laughs> the cartoon movie? <laughs> the movie. Y'all seen Tarzan? Okay. The like the live movie? action or the cartoon? Which one, nigga? Like, no, the is it Disney? Like the yeah, Disney movie. Yeah, the you know, raising, yeah, yeah, raising the jungle by the apes and, you know, all okay, that stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. like, remember he was growing up in the jungle and the apes and all of the animals in the jungle, like, they, they adopted who he is. So you call them black people monkeys? Don't fucking do that. <laughs> See, I knew he was going to do that. I was going to let you rock. I knew he was going to do that. Why you, you I knew gonna, he was going to do that. This is good uh, podcast shit. You I knew he was going to do that. She was about to definitely call us silverback gorillas, nigga. What's wrong with that? Y'all do it all the time. We coming through fucking shit up. No, it's okay. not a bad thing. Right. I'm saying it in, in, in a good way. Niggas My is thing monkeys. is... Millie's is Tarzan. Millie's is Tarzan. I feel like he is because he could have went with a more civilized culture. So a white guy just came and took over the fucking monkeys. Huh? He didn't come and take over oh, the wow. monkeys. What I'm saying is, is he came and the monkeys and the apes adopted who he is. He's one of us. <laughs> you remember that that big monkey that wasn't with it, right? <laughs> and not at first. Not at first, but he You're saved his life, that right? that nigga. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> did he save his life? <laughs> he did. He, he saved he did, his he did, life. He did, he did, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Millie's I, know he my favorite Saxon man. I you feel like saying? like he's Tarzan. Like he got the whole jungle behind him. He's coming nah, through. He really he's do. fucking shit up. Right. And what I really love most about him is his animalistic tendencies to just like remain hungry and stay at the top of his game. Yeah. Like that's what I'm relating it to being like Tarzan and just being. That nigga Put in the on the remix. You see these bars she's dropping right now? I mean, I get it. Wow. Because he hasn't, he hasn't stopped. He he's hasn't he's stopped. on top of his yeah. game. Yeah. He's, yeah, not, he's, going he's crazy. not getting he comfortable. He don't switch up. He do nah. the shit that he like. Nah, he going crazy. He do that shit that he like. Yeah. I blow smoke about the moon roof. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Moon yeah. roof. He want to sing, yeah. boy. Yeah. You I don't can't even tell Millie's he's not singing. It was definitely giving Drake vibes. Yo, Whoa. he did a he did an interview. You didn't get Drake vibes from what was it? Sentimental? Nah. Sentimental nah. gave me Drake vibes. Like, I got I Millie's see, vibes. Nah, I can see a collaboration with Drake and Millie's. I can see that. I think that would be super dope. I think Millie's take singing lessons. Bro. How did you all feel about tonight with the Dido? With the who? Uh, with the Dido sample. The, oh, that's stand, the stand sample. The stand sample, which is really yeah, yeah, the yeah, Dido. Yeah. That shit was sample. dope. I don't think I, I like, caught that I like sample. That you know, you know what I mean. He, I don't think few, I that uh, he do a few records out there. My favorite records is the joints when he got the Spanish guitar in them. Okay, so, like the Carlos like, Santana like vibes. When he, when he did the album with uh, Davies, the Pablo Blanco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was all shit. They had the Spanish guitar strings in it. So he got two songs on here, uh, Duro and Yo Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both yeah, of yeah. them <laughs> shit. Yeah. Both of them shit. Duro. is lyrical exercise. You man. could tell Millie's love his Spanish. Oh, nah, Blanquito, my mm-hmm. nigga. Blanco, Blanco, mm-hmm. Blanco. T Blanco. 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 T Blanco's the whole island, my yeah, nigga. He, right. he the whole island. T Blanco. T Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's you know what I'm mean? saying. With the gorillas, he got Jada Kiss behind him. Fucking yeah. Dave Again East. with the monkey. Yeah. Herb. Herbo, right? G Herbo. G Herbo, Herbo yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, one yeah. of the best songs on there. How'd y'all feel about Burner's verse on scriptions? Who? Burner? Weed seller? Yeah. He got good weed, dog. <laughs> good answer. Cookies is the shit. Good answer. <laughs> Cookies is the shit. I'm trying to get me some. And I don't right. even think he was rapping about like what he liked. I think it was it was real shit. Cause what do you say? You tapping with your your constituents, your yeah. You, you gotta talk to people that, yeah, that you know gotta talk him to or, your supporters. And I I spoke to I ha- I know a lot of people in Cambridge yeah. that either listen to his music or know him or knew him. And then my husband, like when. When B was starting out with videography and doing cinematography and mm-hmm. stuff, 
Millie's was one of them guys. Millie's was yeah. one of those guys that he was rocking with. And at that point in time, what B thought he was worth, Millie's paid him. While yeah. everybody else was out here fronting, acting like they yeah. had it, Millie's always made sure he was straight. Yeah. Millie's made sure he cut every check. And he said some shit. What did he say in there? It was in Violet Skies. He said, how many people did you help? That's mm. how you measure life. Mm. And a lot of people think they out here really helping people, and they're not. They putting on a front. They they trying to be something that they not. They trying to look like they verified, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Then we just talk about, like, mm-hmm. the, the, the blue check. Yep. Yeah. But I spoke to somebody that's very close to me, and he, he confirmed that Millie's is really what he say he's nah, about. Nah, he like that. No, and for so sure. for me, it's like he, he's always going to get my support. Nah, T-Blunt well, nah, got it, man. Time. Shout out T-Blunt, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. That's his favorite line my nigga. Whatever the fuck that means That means I ain't white I'm Haitian, I'm Haitian. You know what I mean? right. really He loves good. that shit um, I, 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 I loved it man I mean the Blanco series Just keeps growing I think Millie's got something He has. He found his sound Like yeah. he's all the way in his bag With his sound mm-hmm. um, The reason why I said I had to listen to it again Was because I felt like you know, some songs did sound very similar. They did, right? the productions. Um, you know what I mean? And not only that, just like the flow and things of that nature, right? But that works for him because mm-hmm. the people who love Millie's, they love what he's doing right now. Yeah. Um, and, and for the new people, it yeah, makes him on. easier to digest, yeah. right? So when you, when you hear something like this and you never heard of this guy before, you're like, this is Blanco six. Mm-hmm. This nigga got six of these. Yeah. <laughs> this shit must be hard, right? So it's gonna make you want to go back and, and see the evolution Facts. from Blanco to Blanco six, man. Um, I think Millie's is, is incredible, bro. I think he's well on his way to like like I'm talking like mainstream stardom. Undeniable. Yeah. Like he, he's 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 everywhere, man. I mean, yeah. I, you know, Jada Kiss was smart, man. He saw what was going on, and I think the reason why Jada Kiss really latched on him. Was because of the melodies, yeah. the melodic shit, man. Like not everybody could just, do it like that. He wasn't just one lane. Nah, you yeah. know what I mean? Because he, because he got bars. He goes yeah. on every platform and he goes crazy. Yep. You know what I mean? Except for us, but he <laughs> on every platform and he goes crazy <laughs> with the bars. Once he puts his hands like this on the table, it's fucking so over. It's like I'm smoking black and I'm, you know what I mean? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? He be going crazy. You know what I mean? I know. I know. You, you know, know? Once he put. Yeah, do that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, strong fingers. You know he's about to go crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yo, shout out Millie's man. What was your favorite song? My favorite song? It's Risk Takers. I like the bars. I, 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 I as soon as I heard Risk Takers, I knew this shit was gonna go crazy, man. Just with uh Al B. Al and Leaf Ward. Um yeah, Al B. Mm. Al like and and just the fucking like the street, the streets love this shit. And then when fucking Grimy Gert came up here, he had to rap on the, the risk taker shit, man. I think Millie should do like a risk takers challenge. Challenge, mm. yeah. You know, get niggas to just go crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean? Beat is that crazy. Be that beat is a rapper beat. beat. Yeah, that beat is incredible. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, it was like three lyricists, like, you know, street rappers who really want to compete with each other on yeah, that shit. Yeah, I feel you know like I mean? they were, too. Yeah, of it course. Was good. It was good. It's like, if you get on the song with a nigga that you know that be barring up, nigga, your whole objective is to take his fucking head off. Has to. Right? <laughs> Respectfully. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're like, nah, nigga, I'm gonna outdo this nigga. Yeah. So you could tell everybody got on this song like, yeah, nigga, I'm like that. And I'll be out like, nigga, you, I nigga. just got out of jail, nigga. I'm, I'm joking. I just beat a murder case, nigga. Yeah, for real, for real. It's like that. I kill for fun. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> You know Murder I mean? people for fun. <laughs> oh my god, we're drinking wine, y'all. Come on, now. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. My Jesus, fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. we on that Montclair, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm on that Yvonne. Yeah, I mean, I mean. but <laughs> shout out my man Millie's. Yes. Out of five red cups, you already know what the fuck it is, man. Five out of five. Yes, sir. Five red cups with Blanco six. It's off the backboard three Yo, legs man. twice. Yeah, Smalls. I mean, all of that, man. Um, all of the above. <laughs> Can't wait to sit down with you, bro. Let's talk about the creative process and all of the above. Keep doing your thing, man. Keep making masks look good, my boy. For real. Now, it's time for the guests, man. It's time for the guests, man. You know what I mean? Chanel, you want to do the honors? 
Oh man, my intros ain't even like yours. Nah, Come you gotta on now. do it. Give you me a fucking heads up first. Don't do put it. me on the spot. That's you see, but that, that's how I do. Like you know, everything's Shit. from the heart. Know, you know right? what I mean? It's from it's from known. right here. It's from the diaphragm. Oh my you know god! Why would you do this? To All right, me? whatever. I got you. I got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, right? because you want to do shit like that. You trying to embarrass me, nigga? I ain't trying to embarrass you. I just you know what I mean. I, I'm sorry. I, got, I know my lane. Yeah, I yeah, stay in yeah, my improv lane. Improv skills ain't, ain't come on. Ain't, it ain't, ain't about like improv. That. You, know what you mean? do okay. the intros. All right. Don't fucking do surprise me. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't yell at me, dog. Don't. Do you like surprises? Yo, get no. this fucking right, intro then. going. All right. I'm sorry. Why don't you do the intro? Yo, Why can't wow, Cash wow, do the wow, intro? Wow, wow, wow. Can nah, we just nah. do this? Let's just do it. Do it. We don't got to get hostile. Why can't we be friends? We drinking wine. We drinking wine, right? For we drinking real. wine. All right. So this week, man, we got one of the most incredible voices mm-hmm. out of this region. And I'm not talking about just out of this region, man. I'm talking like when you hear this woman's voice, man, like moving mountains mm, right i mean her range is incredible um her, her 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 catalog is actually really impressive especially with the features that she has you know big names and a lot of guys that are homegrown from around here man um i feel like people always flock to her when they know that they need something with a certain level of elegance something with a certain mm. level of grace mm-hmm. and they know that she's gonna come through with the pipes every single time yes. i mean like yeah the first time I, I i heard her perform live you know i i, I heard of her and i'm like yeah i know she do the singing shit and things of that nature and then i i seen her on stage and i was really in awe mm-hmm. i was just like yo no auto she, she really Sings. she really she liked that yeah you know she what i'm saying Sings. so i need anybody and everybody to give your undivided attention Make some noise, yeah, for my girl Miranda Ray. What's yeah. good, baby? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. wow, wow. Damn Sock right. Bussy. Am I gonna cry? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Those are dope, right? Yeah. Nigga, cry. I can never cry. do that. Yeah, this would have been on, amazing too. You ain't, Don't even, doubt you ain't even crying. <laughs> No, I said, should I? Oh, you should. <laughs> nah, Good. you know, I'm a little thug. <laughs> I can't. Oh, shit. I'll hold all the tears in and then I'll go home and be like, <laughs> you really said that about me? <laughs> nah, for real. And I mean it, man. For real. How you doing, girl? I'm good. How are you? I am well. I am well. I appreciate I'm happy you here. You guys having me. Yeah. It's been, it's been a long out. time. I know. Been waiting. My first time, time here. Hey, y'all. Long time coming. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Miranda didn't want to come on the show. That's, That's what I heard. <laughs> You gonna lie on camera? <laughs> That's not true. I don't Proof even that I'm lying. That. I mean, because where you been? I've been Outside. hiding. Mm. And you know, mm. working on stuff. Working on I'm ready, stuff. I'm ready to step on some next. Just kidding. Hey. Well, first, <laughs> with a smile. <laughs> yes. Well, for for the people who don't know who Miranda Ray is, right? right. Yes. Give us a quick rundown on who you are, what you do, what you represent. Wow. Okay. So my name is Miranda Ray. <laughs> The raise with an E. Uh huh. You know, gotta let gotta let people know that too. Yeah. So they can find me. Um, I'm <laughs> I'm a I would call myself a vocalist. Yes, you are. Of many things. Yeah. A, a singer songwriter. Uh, I like to call myself self taught mm. because um, the music I grew up on those are my teachers. Okay. And I take pride in that because I feel like you know that's where my soul is, mm. and that's why when you guys see me, I feel like I'm able to connect. Uh, with the music that I write and I feel like sometimes artists they just perform instead of just like connecting to something that they created to give a give a performance Mm -hmm. okay um but I've been singing for a very long time since I was a kid and um it's the only thing I see fit for me and you know you guys just just found out that I'm Haitian so I had no idea (laughs) I know it was uh, very hard to like convince my father. But Gonzalo, you know, um, that Did you sing in a path. church? No, I never sang at a church. Never sang in a choir. Never sang. But you sang in, in the house. Group. Just sang in the house to like India Ari, Lauren Hill. Really? Yeah. So, people are like, oh, you must sing in a choir. I'm like, no, I never. I didn't grow up in church. So do Haitian parents not like? They don't believe in like the entertainment industry, or they don't. Oh, he wants me to be a doctor, a doctor, nurse, or engineer. Engineer. Don't be singing and whistling. You know, he's like, "Oh, we live, we live right up the street from Harvard. Why don't you go choose something from there?" And I'll look at the list, like. Oh, you from Cambridge? 
I was born in Cambridge. I grew oh, wow. up a little bit, but you know, I don't want to. I don't know what to claim that much because I grew up in Florida. <laughs> okay. So it's okay. like, you well, know. Paul, oh, you don't have to claim Florida though. <laughs> we'll, we'll uh, West Palm. West Palm. Okay, you okay. Know, adding more to the Haitian tale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, <laughs> very Haitian out there. You know. Um, yeah. No. Wow, I didn't know that, man. So, how old was you when you came up here? Um, so I came back when I was uh, twenty three. Twenty three. Wow. Yeah. wow. So that so was your recently. entire childhood. Yeah, I was there from like ten to twenty three. Wow. Oh. So it's like that wasn't even that long ago. No. Wait. Wow. What? Could have been. We don't how? Know. How? How old are you? Or do you? I'm 23. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 28. Okay. 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 So okay. But that's what. So that, 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 that's, that's not that too long. long. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Oh, wow. Um, so, but I, when I was here, I did grow up majority of my life in Roxbury, Dorchester. Okay. okay. And then my dad, he like lived in Malden. So I was like in between those two cities. Very Haitian of him. Went to Malden. school. Yeah. yeah. Yes. He loves yes. Malden. Mm-hmm. Won't let it go. Mm-hmm. Malden got him on a chokehold, mm-hmm. y'all. Um, he literally be like, like come, come to the city. Like, let's get out of Malden. He's like, no, you know, that's where my, my people are. Like, yeah, that's right, where I'm at. Right, right, in Malden. Right. Like, okay. Okay. So shout out to Malden. Dako, Dako, Dako. So what made you come back up here? Um, Money. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then I kind of was like interested in like finding the scene in Boston. I was kind of like, what's going on out here? Because I started my musical journey um, in Florida. Okay, and I started doing like open mics and working with producers and stuff. But I just wasn't sure like what Boston was about. But I knew mm-hmm. that we had Berkeley, mm-hmm. and I knew that there was musicians. But I never knew like any local artists or like upcoming artists from the city. So I wasn't sure like what we had. So like. I kind of found everything through the Boston Music Awards. Wow. <laughs> and I was, like, oh, looking you. at their... Li- I didn't even know that we had an awards. Because there was nothing online, y'all. In 2017, there was right. nothing online. I was trying to find open mics, people. They would just be like, just go outside. I'm like, okay, but where? <laughs> right. Where right. Where outside? Outside is so big. Right. And then um, they're like, you'll find it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just uh, randomly stumb- stumbled upon the music awards and I started looking at the list and that's when I found you know all the names of like artists in the city and I was like oh yeah. so there is something here yeah. so I would go on their Instagram follow them go over here go over there and then yeah just things just started you know manifesting itself because I moved with intention and also like when I was in starting my music in Florida I was kind of doing like the underground coming up mm-hmm. and so when I came here I was like I'm not doing all that again like right. I'm just gonna find one person from each place and then go to the next place right. like, I'm not gonna stay at this one place I'm still gonna come back because I'm one of those like I'm loyal you know right right right, right. I'm not gonna be like I'm better than this it's just like no I need to go to the next to the next to the next to the next so I just moved with the intention of like hey I want to be here too not trying to step on no toes not right. trying to you know so that's fire yeah, so I've just been singing. Lately, I've been singing more um, with a live band. Megazoid. So Megazoid. I'll, shout out to Megazoid. Marco and Liam. I was going to say that because somebody, yeah. when I told them Miranda Ray, I was, we have Miranda Ray today, they were like, oh, the performer. Yeah. Yeah. They know you as the performer. And I'm not mad at that because I love performing. I prefer, like, if I had to choose between, like, recording artists or, like, touring, I would love to do, like, tour. Like, okay. I just love to perform. And, you know, I recently went on a tour with Chris Walton. And that was cool because it oh, made me sure. realize that it was definitely, like, you know, independent, self-made tour. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but it made me realize that you could just go to any city. You know what I mean? Just find, like, two good people from that city, well-known, and just hop, and on, plug you in. hop on their bill. So, like, right. honestly, y'all about to see me in all 50 uh, cities. Uh, let's go. Let's so, get it. Let's get it. Because I just like, I just love that, like, I knew people did it, but, like, actually doing something mm-hmm. is then like hearing about how people do something is like two different things so actually putting myself out there and doing it you know it was definitely a learning experience but it was very inspiring like now just ready. to backtrack a little bit yeah. would you say that the underground or the main scene in florida compared to up here in massachusetts or boston is better worse like as far as musicians um, What's going on? I have not been in the Florida scene so long that I know it's definitely changed. But when I first came, uh-huh. like, based off, like, you know, 2017 vibes. Right. Um, it was very different. Like, I think I preferred at the time the Florida scene because it was just easier to find it and, like, navigate through it and, like, network. Whereas here, it's like, 
one thing I appreciate is like once you find it, you're there. But right. it, to find it, it's like what kind a of gun you had hole, down in like, Florida? <laughs> huh? What kind of gun you had down in Florida? Oh, I do not carry. <laughs> you, don't, you don't carry a firearm in Florida? No, you know my dad been telling me to get one, but that's very unFloridian. Yeah, you you not ain't a Florida man. I mean, I told you I was born in Massachusetts. So. I get it. Yeah, I, I get mean, it. Yeah. Damn, I don't like yeah. guns, and I think I, like, I would have one if I left. <laughs> no, I don't think I would shoot a gun because I think honestly, at first off, I'd be like. Like, you know, like, <laughs> you know what? You're better off without one. You know what I mean? right. so like, right. Right. But I think, like, honestly, first time know. I went to Florida to visit my sister when she first moved down there, I'm talking guns galore. Oh, oh yeah, like, it was like, oh yeah, I, I dropped, I dropped the remote in the couch, to, and then I. Reach down so, here, uh, boom. Not no, not no, 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 I'm not exaggerating. It was a, gun, it was a like, baby nine. I'm in the not exaggerating. No, right? So I have a I was friend. like, oh shit, the remote. I was like, oh shit, Glock. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then I looked over at the mantle at the fireplace, Sigma 40, bang. Beautiful. She was like, yo, go get that thing from my bedroom. I went upstairs to grab something from her bedroom. Sawed off, just leaning on oh the wall. God. Right, I was like, "Oh, y'all niggas is no." It's no. I have a it's friend, crazy. I have a friend who literally just started getting into guns, and he had like a whole bunch, even in his trunk. And I was like, "Why do you need this?" Because he could it was buy like it big. I was like, "Why can. you need this big ass gun?" He was like, "You never know. If, like, I could be in my house, and there's something popping off at the pool, and I could just be." I was like, "Yo, please, Damn right. please. The fuck? Damn right. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking long range. No. God bless the NRA. Oh yeah. Mm. Damn right. But now they made that new law. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> where you don't even need like even a fucking a license. dummy. Oh yeah. 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 That was a little that's bit too worst. much. I'm about to get an that's apartment in Florida just so I can. Yeah, for real. Indulge. I need a Florida oh driver's God. license. Shit. That's what I need. I need God a Florida damn. driver's license. I need <laughs> yeah. someone. Yeah, yeah, man. I need a hook up. Come on down. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. How much for anyway. a Florida driver's license? Proceed. So, Proceed. so how do you feel like you integrated with your uh, your click out here, right? So. You said Megazord, like you, you know, you you clicked up with them, but like I'm talking before that because I felt like you was more so, like, you you found like your tribe, right? And how do you feel like you kind of? I feel did like that I don't really have here? a click. No, I feel like I feel I like just, I see you I, around the same people a lot. Probably because they're my friends, but I feel like, as far as like saying I'm in a click, I feel like I'm I just associate myself with them and then. You know they, you know, welcome me in. But there's like a lot of different groups that I just kind of like bleed through right. and just like chill with. But you know, there's probably like one person from each click because I feel like there's a lot of clicks in Massachusetts. Oh yeah, That's everybody's everywhere. very clicky. That's everywhere. Yeah, I feel like it's very clicky here. That's everywhere. More than, I mean, I don't know. I've been another place and it hasn't been that clicky. So, so like, which click do you vibe better with? The Mean Girls click. The, oh, I'm not a mean girl. The I hippies. mean, I am mean a little bit, but it's more like joking, sarcastic. I don't know. <laughs> but a Mean Girl click? No, I'm not a mean girl. I'm more like a. I don't know. The way I grew up was like everybody come, everybody's mm -hmm. welcome. So I, I'm a, I'm the one that m mainly would probably invite different people from all different cliques. Mm -hmm. And then when you were with Miranda, there's no cliques. That's so you I don't know. use the term friend very loosely. Friend loosely? You don't use the term friend loosely. Because mm -hmm. I heard not. you say. I mean, he said cliques. You. I heard you say cliques, but you didn't really consider anyone like a friend. No, I said I probably have friends from different cliques. Friends from, okay. Who would you consider, like, some of your best friends in these cliques out here in the scene? Because oh, I see you, you with... names? I see you <laughs> with Cake Swag, right, sometimes? Or am I bugging? I mean... Oompa. Yeah, I hang out with them, you know, mm -hmm. when I see them. Or I get invited. Or, it's always like, the you chicks. Know, chilling with mm -hmm. them. Yeah. But that's, like, you know, that's just, like, one group of people that, you know... That's one clique. But they're a clique. Okay. I just get... I don't know how to. I feel weird. <laughs> you just everywhere. You you outside. Huh? You outside. Yeah, I just like find myself with different people, different times to associate myself with. Obviously, I have, you know, my one friend here. Yes. She came yeah. And then that's your best friend. Hello, one friend. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. hey. Friend. <laughs> okay. Um. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to answer that question. Because sometimes I feel like an outsider, if we're going to be serious. I wasn't, you know, trying to be too sad. Within, Within your friend group. You said you, like you didn't want to be so sad? Yeah, I know. I was like, that's not <laughs> kind of sad. 
I, like, I don't know who's gonna take it here, but no, nah, I think that's ill. Like, I think I, I think I'm an outsider because a lot of people. Know, sorry, a lot of people. Sorry, yeah, watch, watch, watch the award. Yeah, man. watch the that's award. Sylvia, yeah, my that's, bad. That's, that's yeah, Sylvia. Is that 22 so, or 21? What's 22? That's 22. 22. 22. Um, my bad. 22. Uh, yeah, no, I feel like. I feel like sometimes I'm an outsider, but that could just be me being dramatic a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I feel you. I feel that way like sometimes, too. Me coming I think in... you're dramatic. <laughs> what? Oh, my fault. Yeah. I am. There's a song. Oh, she was talking. She was a arguing bit, with okay. a nigga at the end of the song. Was it Intentions? Me? Oh, in- what's it? Invitation for Love. That's so Invitation embarrassing. If love. I could go back in time. I oh, you thought D. That was embarrassing. Was that a real Is that what D? That, that wasn't a real Hold argument, on. right? No. No, right? But, like, the fact Did that... Did it feel real? A little bit, but a little the fa- bit. but the because f- it's he women with no though. reason. Because she said, "You, yeah." I, he's like, "I take you out every day." So what? You take me out every day? You don't see me, nigga. If I take you out every day, <laughs> who the fuck else am I seeing? <laughs> 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 what, what, what did that what, No, I think, I think he said no. Because so we were arguing, and I forgot what we were arguing about. It's like you know, girl, I heard it. I, I know, listened. I, I listened know. clearly. Not, why would you bring uh, this up? I listened to every so word. I was like, that's no. what a woman would say. Yeah, no, that's real deep too. He was like, he said something, and in the middle of the argument, he goes, "I bet you know what else will." And that really, I was like, "What?" And that's when I was like, kind of real, because I don't know what the argument was, but he said something like. No one else would like. Take I you bet out that or, shit. Nobody or, else will take you out a day. But I don't know but the argument. A nigga that's so, gonna take you out a so day. Who, who was this that's person? That one it was nigga. Uh, my friend uh, Brian Julio Jenkins. Okay. Shout out to him. And I just like I don't know. I was trying I like to. That shit. I was trying what Brian Julio Jones? Nah, oh. I don't know who that oh, no, is. No, no, my bad. That's who the, that was. That's who <laughs> well, I said the name and he said I like that shit. So I was insane. No, he likes to break it. He likes to break it. Yeah, no. So um. That record is Invitation for Love, and at the end, there's a skit. Because in my mind, when I made my first EP, I was like, I want to have skits, but I want to be a little dramatic and have, like, arguments or, like, inspirational speeches, something. Mm. So one of them was an argument, and we kind of, like, set the scene. Just improv a little bit. Yeah, we just improv. We just had a topic, and then we just kind of went from there until, like, there was a space where it felt real. But we started, we tried to make it sound real, like, you know, we added, like, dishes washing <laughs> right. in the background right. and then, like, had the water stop when the argument was, like, to a certain spot. Damn, okay. might stop that water. Yeah. yeah. So. Is that, like, huh? is that, like, kind of like a real scenario, something, like, that you went through type shit? What? No one will take me out? No. Come on, <laughs> man, man. That's not what I meant. I'm talking about the type of argument you was on. Oh, um, I'm not very argumentative. Bullshit. What's your sign? I'm a Scorpio. No oh, shit. What does yeah. that mean? What that means, you know? Yeah, what that mean? Mm, they have the, very the strong personality. I'm the... strong. You have a strong personality. Sometimes I feel They're like... not very argumentative. Sure? One of my wow. best friends is is a Scorpio. He's one of the coolest people ever. I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. For me personally, I don't know if it's my sign or whatever, but it's gonna take me a while before I get mad. Yeah, but if you get and mad, and then when I do get mad, claws yeah, is out. The claws That's are it. Out. Mm-hmm. That's but it. But there's only certain people that take me there, mm-hmm. or maybe signs. I don't know. But so who is this that's been taking you there in these songs? Because you are clearly talking about something or someone. Yeah. So like, is this an ex? Um, I kind of sometimes I mix like certain emotions of like different people and put them. You together. put niggas together. I put niggas together. <laughs> Like, oh, he did this and this, so I'm going to say this. Yeah. I'll make it sound like one person, but it's really, it could be like two people. So when two niggas text you and they ask you, yo, this shit's about me, right? You'd be like, yeah. You know what's funny? No one has yeah. ever. My bad. Copy and paste. Yeah. No one has ever asked me if a song is about them. Really? Yeah. No one has ever. for years. Huh? And you've been singing for years. I've been singing for a long time. No one has ever been like, is this about me? Why is that? Because I'm probably, think? I think I'm a little vague. Uh, like I don't be put in the situation I right. just be put in the emotion Like I'll write from emotion Not from like situation And then I'll probably say something that sounds like You would probably connect to Or like you would connect Like one time my friend he called me And I, I think I released like my second EP And he was like Yeah I gotta break up with my girl I was like wow I inspired you to break up with your oh, You girl. got the I'm message <laughs> He was like yeah I gotta message. do better for myself I said like, you better wow. go off king 
Wow. Think is best for you. Wow. How long was he with this said I girl? I don't know. Maybe like a year or so. Wow. Oh, right. yeah, fuck her. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's new. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no. Yeah. I wasn't breaking yeah. up marriages. Bye, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. Yeah, no. But um, I feel like the mus- the the way I feel now with like men that I've dealt with in my life, I'm just like I do want to write something about that but sometimes i'm just like like a specific situation yeah and sometimes i'm just like but i don't really like giving i feel like i'm giving you a platform at mm. that point and this i'm a little petty it's like i don't want to do that but then mm. at the same time people my, i go through something my friend's like you gotta write about that you gotta write about that but that's, that, what, that's where the like, best music comes that's from that's what the right. did right yeah, yeah. And, the, and her, her husband, husband was sitting right there She got the girl means like, I'm about to divorce this bitch tomorrow yes. Little do y'all know That's what Mary did <laughs> That's one of my teachers Shout out mm. Adele Shout out Adele she Killed that cover by the way Oh my oh. god Oh my god When we were young Yes I thought it was her I thought oh, it was her because I, I really, promise you I really No I believe that I promise you Did I'm y'all hear that cover? That. Uh, nah I, I'm not Oh my god Y'all are slacking <laughs> I'm sorry Y'all are slacking It's not. okay I was doing my hair and I just let you know everything on YouTube play and I thought it was actually Adele and I looked down and I'm like this is this is not her. She's she's really just ashy. She ain't even white. Yo, mm. she's just that's just mm. lots of layers of ash. <laughs> that, that is oh a soul God. sister. You shitting me? Are you shitting me? That is just that is just ash build up. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> Never be serious. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> that's that. Adele is a that. soul sister, my nigga. All right, so I like to ask singers this question: When did you realize you could sing? <laughs> mm, okay, okay. My dad told me that. Um, my dad told me a story, but for me personally, I think Haitians be lying. No, no, no. He told. Okay, so he told me when I was like three, I came up to him and said, "I know how to sing." And he was like, "Okay." Haitians be lying. <laughs> And, you know, uh, when you were three years old, you came to me, you said, Daddy, 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 look, I, look, I am with me. You know what I mean? He said, Go, Morenda, yes. Yeah. He said, um, he said, I sang to him, Don't Cry for Me, Argentina. Really? I don't even know that song. I have no oh, idea what that is. Exactly. But I guess, you know, oh, around the time, God. I think Madonna was singing or something yeah. like that. So. <laughs> Maybe I heard on the radio, but for me personally, I'm gonna say, when did I know how to sing? I think when I started like singing along to like the, the albums I would listen to all the time, mm-hmm. and I would just like repeat the songs, repeat the songs, repeat the songs, and I was like, hmm, wait, wait a I'm fucking a minute, close. right? And I did my first, um, okay, okay, okay. So I did my first talent show when I was like in the second grade and you guys know that um dance center i don't know how to call it like a community dance whatever. like a ymca origination kinda. oh, oh yeah. yeah we know so origination, I danced with very origination well. when yeah. i was like growing up in boston yeah. but i was like way little Baby. probably couldn't dance right. Who knows? was miss Dabinga in them still maybe the i don't remember names so that's why i'm just like <laughs> don't it was twins two twin sisters mr binger i think so there, but African. this was like 2001 2002 right 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 right. so around that i think they had just started they were like by the laundromat yeah. oh yeah that's them it had to be the, they oh, had the yeah, buck palace yeah, over there by yeah. walnut yeah the yeah, what yeah, palace yeah. the buck palace you never been to the buck palace <laughs> The what palace? It's over there. <laughs> Egg, it's Eggleston Square, bro. Come on. Proceed, my so nigga. So I, I was there, and they had a talent show, and I decided to sing I Won't Give Up Now by Mary Mary. Okay. What was I singing about? Anyways, <laughs> I was literally like eight or yeah. like six, but I felt during that time I knew how to sing, and I felt like I was good enough to sing that, and like I didn't choose to dance at the talent show. I chose to sing, and I think I won like second place. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you know, give a little soul. Okay. Do you remember who won first place? A dancer. Oh shit! So you probably should. But I was danced. a little salty because motherfuckers. You know, See, yeah, I'm a buck little. Com- I'm a little competitive. Yeah. Oh so yeah, competitive. Probably should have got buck. You kind of tall. You ever play ball? Buck. No. Everybody I'm not asked you that. Tall. I'm God. tall. Now you tall. Like yeah. Nobody's ever asked you that. Like I, eh. my whole life. You never caught an alley oop. No. No, I never caught an alley oop. Uh, I don't play. I don't play no. Sport. <laughs> 
I don't play no sports. I think the one sport my mom tried to put me in was track, and I said running in a circle for this long is not for me. That's wild. I no. Said, Why would you do this? What am I, but a if dog? She had gave me like shock put right. or something like that. Maybe yeah. I would have been interested, but it's like a circle. Right. And right. we were at the Reggie Lewis Center. I was just like running in a circle is crazy. And then she's just like, "Come on, this will be fun." I said, "Who for who? What you're my not even you staying to watch me fail running right. in a circle." Right, right, right. Like. This is not entertaining. I it and then I, I was really interested in like volleyball, but my schools never had it. It's like I, my mom chose like, I love schools, but I feel like she chose like schools that had l- no funding. Yeah. So it's like they only had football. Would you go and to basketball. the elite school? Huh? You went to no. the elite school? Uh, it's in Florida. I'm not even gonna. Uh, oh yeah, I'm sure all those schools are. Hey, hey some of them were fired. I was like, let me go to that yeah. one. And she's like, no, I'm not gonna have you out there. Blah blah blah. Yeah, she's a little dramatic. Oh, okay, that's where I get that from. But yeah, she chose schools that didn't have like sports or you know. So it's like, I didn't, I didn't play in high school. I didn't play in middle school. You got any uh, like? family who, who, who are singers or musical? Oh, my sister is a singer. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, she goes... She actually just released her first single, too. Oh, Shout wow. out. Is she her your name's younger young, singer or your oldest? Is she a better singer? No, younger, younger or older? Singer. Oh. <laughs> I said younger That's singer. That's the second oh. question. Is she a better singer? No. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, Sibling think, rivalry. No, no, no. Honestly, if there's anybody I would like prefer to sing with, it would be her because our voices sound the same. Mm. So when we blend, it's like beautiful. The illest harmony ever. It like, won't be like Sun and Homa. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! No, no. no. <laughs> No. <laughs> if that Thanksgiving go ham, that'd be fire. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a blast of food. <laughs> no. Y'all don't be y'all be competing and shit like Com- grabbing no, the mic, she- ah! <laughs> just looking at her, in her eyes and shit. No. no, maybe for fun, but okay. no. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, it took a long time for her to uh, get the courage to like sing out loud. Is she older or younger? Though, oh, she's answer. younger. Okay. okay, my bad. I'm the uh, oldest. All right. Okay. In my okay. family. Oh, okay. 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 Is right. you or her? Or you have other siblings. So I have uh, two brothers from my dad. Yeah, you know. You're damn so right. Patient. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Fucking right. So I have two younger brothers. <laughs> Spread that good seed. They're like yeah. nine and fifteen, <laughs> so they're really, they're very really young. Very okay. young. Very okay. young. Same mom. Them. Yeah, they have the same mom, okay. but they're like they probably singers too. Low key, low key. Right. Yo, the young one, he be humming a little bit. I thought you was gonna tell me that your dad was like in a band because you know Haitian dads, right. no. they all think they wide clef and shit. No, he be singing <laughs> a little bit. Excuse me, <laughs> if you see me <laughs> scream, man. No, you gotta shake it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We all think we can sing. Oh, yeah, fact. Yeah, I know. He's, he, be, he be singing. I yeah. still think I can sing. He's, but he'll, he'll sing more like reggae. To this day. Than, yeah, I know yeah. I can sing. I'm not really asking for you niggas' could've. opinions. In the shower. But I get it. Mm. I wasn't going to give mine. Nah, nah, nah. But I, I love <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you really continue to just just sang, sang. Like, you don't. You don't mix up. You're not like getting involved and in switching up the sound. It's soulful. It's and it stays soulful. You don't I gotta switch that. it up. Yeah, Thank you don't you. do the you don't do the the, uh, the cute the poppy the, the cute shit. Sing. Yeah, you don't do that. Poppy, no. Like, yeah, you're, you're like a ballad singer. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, if I really could choose, I'd probably sing ballads yeah. more than like. But I know I got to be a little bit more melodic. But you have done some like cute like poppy yeah. bop shit with Dutch yeah, yeah. with Dutch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Dutch. Features, blue yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the blue yellow. Like, yeah. Yeah. I was trying to like yeah. test things out, so I did like blue yeah. yellow and roses. See I think how that's yeah. it. I think that's when I got hip to you. To be honest, I'm not going front. Yeah, I was late to the late to the to the party because you know what I mean I, I I like that gang gang shoot 'em up shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like, know. You know what I mean, all my sound effects <laughs> are gunshots. She knows. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't even have like a. Chimes. I don't have like a heart. I was like, nigga. I'm not. I'm like, I'm not no, 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 that's why I appreciate the wine. You know, y'all. Yeah, I mean, right? like, what, what do you say? Shout out to AB. Shout out to Iron Man the Building. More clutch, you fan. Without my boy. What do you? I'm. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about the wine and shit. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah. Everybody. What do you? I got bad drinks. Sorry. What do you feel like your 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 biggest like challenges are like as far as being in R&B and your style of singing and things of that nature for you to like penetrate to like a, a bigger market I think one of the challenges I face is R&B is more 
I think in this generation of R and B, we're more like it gives that like hip hop right kind of background and i'm more like neo soul yeah mm. like ballad you know what i'm saying like if you're listening to me it's a moment yeah. you know not saying that there's not people that listen to me all the time shout all out right. to y'all <laughs> but um it's definitely the market for r&b i think is different right now and sometimes that's a challenge for me to sing on those you know mm-hmm. bouncy flows i definitely try to tempo in, yeah up tempo because i'm definitely one that's like I like jazz. Like, if I could, if I honestly could choose a genre, I think I would be a jazz singer. I was going to say. I could see that. Yeah. yeah. I could like, see I that. really, I really connect with, like, just, like, tone and, like, you know, I really wish I could scat, but, you know, Ooh. I'm not there yet. Yeah, that would be so fire. Like, if I could just. Okay. I can see that with you. I can see you doing And I love, that's why I say I like performing, especially now that I work, like, me- with Megazoid and stuff. It's, like, elevating the the track and sometimes like i appreciate when people come to me and they're like yo you sound better than the track because i think that for me when i first record the track it's kind of like my first time learning the song mm. like i just wrote it mm-hmm. i just learned the melody myself you know i'm just creating it so maybe i give myself a week or two and then i laid it down mm. but then it's like when i rehearse it and practice it i connect more with it so <laughs> by the time you see it on stage yeah. it feels different because it's like now this song is me like i have became the song at how, this point. how do you feel listening to it in what sense? like like after after you perform mm. it and you hear it you know you... sometimes i prefer my live performances wow, than okay. the track that's fire yeah like i like i have a lot my my new thing is like instead of video recordings i do like audio recordings okay. so i have like a whole bunch of like you just want to hear it yeah fire voice memos yeah. voice memos in my okay. phone when it's like maybe i should have video of this that's what i mean like that's what i mean like if <laughs> just you so hear I can your post own it online, shit because it's like if i post it online i'm just gonna post an audio clip right. but i just think like channeling in on the the sound all this on and i don't know what's up with the iphone like the audio recording on the iphone is like very clear yeah it's chinese mm. it's like yeah. they yeah, need they need, they them, need the recording yeah. <laughs> they need all the audio very clearly <laughs> yeah no so yeah Okay. So let's get into like your actual catalog. Okay. So Moonlight, Moonlight. Very deep. Moonlight, really amazing. I love that song. And then while Thank I you. was listening, I'm like, is that? No. Yeah. How did you get <laughs> Duran Bernard on your song? Because do y'all know who the fuck he is? No. Do you know who he is now? No, I mean, but I, you sent it to me. I earlier. sent it, so I, I wanted record. y'all to look yeah, into I look, it. I looked Did into you figure it. out like who he is? He's big. Duran, he's care. he's very big. First of all, one of my favorite. <laughs> you have to care. You have to care. <laughs> I, I care for Miranda. I, yo, I'm happy like, for just her. Act like you care, right? nigga. Duran damn. is the shit. First of all, that really is. we know. Such a blessing. Shout out to Duran Bernard. Yeah, shout, shout out. out. Shout out. To super super dope. Like he's a singer songwriter. He has worked with Anderson Pack. Okay. Erica um, Erica Badu, okay. mm. the internet, okay. Kate Renata, okay. like his, and then his father was an engineer, okay. correct? Engineer, who worked with Jay Z, nice Beyonce, like Rockefeller. And you have to look into these things, and you have to yeah. care. So just like y'all tell me, I need to care about certain shit. All right. The Proceed. duality, I nigga. Do care. We do care. Proceed, you my didn't nigga. Say it, but I appreciate so, you. So um, how did you and him connect for you to get this collaboration? Cause that that was beautiful. it was very very like much a chance. Mm. Um, I've been listening to Duran Bernard, you know, f- over the years, especially mm-hmm. from YouTube. The first time I heard of him, he had a he used to have a YouTube page, and he sang "Ready for Love" by NDRE. Ooh, and looked that up. Like it's record. so it's so old school art, um, old school YouTube. Like mm-hmm. just the camera, the handheld camera in your face, and you just sing it. And just sing or it. the laptop <laughs> camera. But he's just like singing going off and my sister who passed shout out sarah oh, wow. um she gave that video to me so it's like um she was like you need to sing the song just like this so i used to watch his videos all the time and then he, i realized that he made music as like you know time progressed so i would listen to his music as well and i liked his presence on social media so very big very big presence like just like entertaining very captivating with his conversations and i love how he's like a hundred percent you know himself and his like personality sexuality Mm -hmm. all of that unapologetic and his vocal range is just right sickening it's like that like honestly 
he was even like, do you just want me to do backgrounds or do you want me to have a verse? And I said, um, nigga, what? You can have, you can have a verse. <laughs> like if, if you feel inspired to, like if not, the backgrounds are fire. He just did the backgrounds. And even if he had just did the backgrounds, the song was elevated by like, absolutely. A Once I seen he was on it, I'm like, that's it. Yeah. So, um, he had made a post and he was like, he basically said that he wanted to be like the Samuel Jackson of features for music. Mm. Like how Samuel Jackson was like all in every over the movie. place. Yeah. yeah. So he wanted to do that with features. So he made a post and he was like, if you have something that makes me groove, email me right now and let's get to work. So I sent him like roses and invitation for love. Mm. And I was just like taking a chance. I didn't know like what was going to happen. But I said, I think he going. He going to fuck with he this. He going to rock with this. this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why wouldn't you? And how saying? soon did it take for him to get back to you? I think, like, the same week. Wow. wow. And he was like, That's yo, I really man. like this song. He was like, what do you have? So then at the time, I was working on Moonlight. And thank you for mentioning Moonlight, because I really love that song. Moonlight is so dope. And I think Moonlight is so dope, because I feel like, personally, I'm talking about real shit in the words, but the music is so vibey that right. you're not really mm-hmm. listening to it. Right. And, um... That's a, that's a, that's a talent. Yeah, so what I'm actually saying in the song is I'm talking about how I don't feel comfortable at times in spaces in the time that I feel the most at myself is when mm. I'm in the moonlight. Okay. Mm. And so with a little bit of up, cheap wine. Yeah, drinking cheap wine. <laughs> so <laughs> when I was growing up, um, especially in South Florida, I would go to the beach at night. Like that was like the thing that me and my friends used to do. So that that's what I'm like picturing when I hear Moonlight. Uh, shout out to Don Beeman. He wrote the. Uh, he helped me like he produced the song, but he also like helped me write it. So uh, the chorus is like definitely all of him. So like I, I had it. to like chant, put myself in his space, and I was like Moonlight. I'm thinking about when I used to be like, Yo, let's go get a bottle, yeah. a barefoot. Right, yeah, <laughs> and right, go right, get right. some Moscato and sit under the moon at the beach. So nah, that's what we you gotta about. get the Montfleur and we would talk now. about. But yeah, now we yeah. gotta get the Montfleur du vin. The Yvonne. Yeah, I'm saying, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so yeah, we should. But it's not cheap. Nah, no, this not is elegant all. shit, man. <laughs> Don't fucking play cheap. with my boy, man. We wasn't playing. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't point at this when we said cheap wine. Anyway, so you know, um. But the lyrics, I was kind of talking about how, you know, growing up, um, I'm biracial, but my mom, she grew up like completely half white, half black. And then my, she, she told me growing up that was difficult for her because she couldn't find the place of like where she would fit in. And she grew up in Winchester, Mass. Hair wouldn't so. nap enough and shit. Yeah, Yeah, that, but also like (laughs) her skin was in between, so it'd be like, You're white, and she'd be like, I'm not white, I'm I'm a nigga, yeah, I'm also black too. Or they'd be like, You're black, and like discredit the white. (laughs) So it's just like, Why is it why does one get washed out instead of like being together? So, um, yeah, those lyrics I'm talking about, like, you know. Um, the presence of my skin, like the presence of like my parents, how I grew up, being in these different cultures because, you know, Haitian culture is very different from very different American from Black culture, American culture, more yeah. so like yeah. white American culture. Yeah. Yeah. And my mom didn't have the black experience really growing up, so I had to like find my own black experience. And then wow. sometimes people would joke around because I talk so proper. They would be like, "Oh, because you know, in the South, they'd be like." Oh, you think you're better than us? You talk like a no. white girl. You talk like a white girl. <laughs> yeah, why you talk yeah. so white? Oh, you talk like white. Talk white. white girl, give me a white girl. I'm just like, educated. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, white girl. Class. Say S A T S. Yeah. So when Duran, I thought that Duran would fit. In <laughs> say it again, Miranda. Say that again. <laughs> Distinguished. <laughs> say that again. <laughs> Education. <laughs> yeah. No. So. Um, I felt that like Duran would kind of like relate to the message of like not fitting in, mm-hmm. but like oh, definitely, you know, in some in certain spaces, just because of his sexuality, or, right? Like, you know, just being hundred percent himself, and why is that a problem? So it's like, you know, oh, that's I why like one that. of the lines I say, "Why do I have to be defined by the limits of society?" This box I'm in, it gives me anxiety. Y'all driving me crazy, because it's like. The society puts a standard even on beauty like me being plus size me being six feet tall like that's not an average 
woman whatever but it's just like i meet women all the time that are my size my height you know my shape right so it's like what what is a standard you're not alone i'm not alone no you're not alone little girl now did you get to meet him (laughs) or that was just Uh, i actually so this was during the pandemic so we met on like you know facetime and stuff like that but i did meet him when he came to boston okay for his show so that was a little moment that was cool it was obviously quick because you know right 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 but y'all had a mask on and shit no 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 Uh, (laughs) i'm talking about like march of this year okay 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 okay. but um he knew who i was right when he saw me it was i didn't have to do that whole like awkward like hey hey right it's me miranda he's probably the only six foot tall woman in the room of course i don't even know if he knew i was that tall (laughs) he's like oh shit that gotta be her i get what i get a lot which is so weird is people like see me on instagram and then they see me in real life and they're like damn i didn't know you were that tall i'm like I well, mean, well the first not, time I saw you, you invited you to this basketball <laughs> <laughs> First time I saw you You was on stage So like You gotta understand How grandeur that is Cause you're mm-hmm. on stage Already elevated And you're already tall So I'm like God damn Nigga like <laughs> What the fuck You singing from the spine Why didn't y'all tell me like, How tall yeah, this girl man. was Right you know what I mean coming up to you Hey Hey I'm like Why is she towering <laughs> over me yeah. Gave me I, the short nigga hug the she fuck she yeah. me She said She crowns down She said <laughs> <laughs> Come here, <laughs> little guy. <laughs> but she probably, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be weird, but it's like sometimes I feel like if people are shorter than me, they're just gonna be right here in my yeah, chest. Right, like that's right. too much. Like sometimes just like let me just come to she, so she, she gave me, me the she gave me the yeah, yeah, you have a hug the nigga it's like, like pick the nigga Come on, you have a pick the nigga up. Here's your same girl, pick me up. Oh, she picked me up off the floor. Nah, nah, nah. You should pick a nigga up off the floor one day, just hug a nigga. Yeah, we can, we can try that when I leave. Me a little nigga. Yeah, I know. I yeah, tried. That nigga will never be hilarious. the same. He'll be scarred for that. No, I'm oh, not gonna God. lie. One time in front of people, I was. I did like yoga. <laughs> I have a friend. He's like five seven. Oh low yeah. Key, I did yoke him up one you, time. Yeah. Because I was like, you lying to me. And he was like, he remembers he's that like, God shit. God damn you, strong. <laughs> he looked at me. He's like, don't shit. ever don't grab do me by my collar. <laughs> Wait, he had to look up. Huh? He had to look up. Did you? He's five I mean, seven. He's five yeah. seven. Oh, I didn't N- hear that. Nigga, part. I gotta look up at her, and I'm yes. taller than five seven. Oh, oh, shit. No, you don't. Uh, I'm talking shit. Okay, okay, okay. I, I thought so. I was like, maybe. I'm I'm that. I'm, Who knows? I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like five ten and a half with Tim's on. You know what I mean? Oh, so he has. You know what I mean? Just yeah, I, get, I get good yeah, heels. I get good heels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You said good heels. Shout out to like, the short like good, kings. Like good. You know Shout like, out to the short platforms. kings. Platforms. With the nines, okay. I'm like five yeah. nine and a half. I don't get low five nine. Too. Like okay. I hate you know wearing saying? bands and shit. You know what oh, mean? people love to say how tall they are with shoes on. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's all that matters. With shoes on, I'm probably well. These shoes, I'm you definitely. Have, I'm giving six three. You ever go to the RMV and take your height without shoes? That's all that matters. I mean, I just say six. <laughs> you ever get pulled over and be like, <laughs> God damn, six one? Get the fuck out the six. car. You're six feet tall without, without shoes. shoes. Wow. Good for you. Thank you. Jesus. Shout God out to my God. jeans. All right, so yeah. last thing about Duran, like his oh, yeah. favorite song, Stuck. Definitely a drop top hair, stuck? blowing in the wind song. Like, I That's love that shit. song. You, you listen to it? My no. nigga. Yeah. I was lying. We know you did. <laughs> but him, like Ari Lennox and him <laughs> is like, like always rock. a great combination. Such a dope combination. Yeah. Definitely a song that'll make you feel good about yourself. Now, if someone again, excuse me, if someone were to get stuck in love with you, oh. what would be the reason? Why they're stuck in love with me? Yeah. Because she Haitian. Mm-hmm. That can't like be the reason. You see the Come elbow, she be Haitian? whipping. Because we care. Oh, I love to cook. I love to... You clean? A little bit. <laughs> hey, yo. I ain't going to say, like, you know... Oh, well, it went hand to hand. Cook, clean. That's uh, I feel like it rhymes. Uh, I'm you said that's clean. too much. <laughs> I thought I'm going to clean, but, you know, I feel like you called me if out you, on that list. If you're going to cook, you're not going to wash the dishes? Oh, I'm like, definitely going to clean. I do. I clean kitchen. as I cook. No, you I'm clean, clean as you cook. Yeah, All right. I was All right. Thank you. Shout out to my wife. Yeah. On the dog. I love her. She know why. So it would be because because of your cooking skills. I think because I just show up a lot in um, different ways. I think my one love language is like acts of service. Okay. So that's I think, mine. Yeah. Really? I think like acts of service is her love language. What service? Oh my God. You ever took the five <laughs> love languages test? Yeah. Acts, like, nigga, <laughs> acts of service, nigga. <laughs> So the fuck is wrong with you? Where do I sign up? I thought he should say Sometimes ass. my problem is no. I give that. The five love languages. I'm going to fuck that Acts of service. Acts of service? 
I will f- I'm go chill. Not at all. I, I didn't catch it. Oh, all right. My bad. So what would be the reason somebody's stuck in love with y'all? Look at me. Ass of service. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Because it can't just be Haitian, like you said, because all of y'all are Haitian. So. First off, I'm very charming. I'm a great provider. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm godly. <laughs> <laughs> What more needs to be said? Okay, what is it, Charlian? <laughs> oh shit, Charlian, yo, you really gonna get the church started? <laughs> what? I started Ooh. my own religion. Oh, I saw the clip. Chizianity. Yeah. I need you to be the lead choir <laughs> singer. I'm writing. Do you have a choir director? I'm writing. I need you to be all of that. I'm writing a story right now for the Bible. Well, what are we call the Bible. I'm writing one of the nah, stories. No, 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 it's not gonna be called a Bible, man. Come on, man, relax. Yeah. You oh, gotta come that? up with a better name than that, my nigga. Get creative. Let Milk her come Shaw, up with a name. Benedict in the in the house, so Yay. he can come up with some, some yeah. ill shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, Sorry. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love them. So you know what I mean? We getting some bars, nigga. Word, y'all came with bars. Good shit. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do the honors? Yes. I love that. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all heard it here first. Miranda Ray is Charlian. <laughs> you know he's the yeah, choir director. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, and he's the pastor. Head of HR as well. Head of HR too. Head of HR. And the collection plate. We take yep. ammunition. We take bricks. All <laughs> whatever, of it. You know, all types of... To you build stuff. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I feel like that's yeah. negotiable. Yeah. 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 Everything yeah. is welcomed at our, we at our we church. We're going to talk. We talk. Well, church? We have a very, it's a very high position. Yeah. You know what Hell I mean? Hell no. You no, deserve right. it. Not I believe you. Well, I, don't, I don't think I would ever try to be a choir director. That's out of my league. Well, I, I trust your judgment. Okay. You know, you get you get appoint whoever you want. I got it here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you got a voice. We need the voice. You know what I'm saying? God blessing all the trap niggas. You heard? You're... You go to trap on Fridays. <laughs> oh yeah, you said it was a trap church. Yeah, what, 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 what? it's not church. It's trap. Oh, trap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. meet so, me at trap on Fridays. <laughs> trap on Fridays. That's right. Okay. That's right. That's oh, so right. you're gonna you're gonna have me in my hip hop bag. No, no, no. I'm gonna oh, have I you. In, I'm gonna have you in oh, your boy, soul man. bag. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause soul is from right here. Soul is whatever you want it to be. It's from the belly. I, I, it's yeah, from the spine. Too. Shit's from the spine. Somewhere you around here. From the spine. God damn it. I wanted to ask because a lot of rap niggas like to say they listen to R and B. Do you listen to any gangster shit? You, don't listen you to know what's so funny? <laughs> what's up? I don't. <laughs> God, I want to so bad. I felt all. that coming, nigga. I know I knew she was gonna but be I like, do, yo, nah, I nigga. You have to like learn it. I, you know, I, okay. I'm about to like really embarrass myself right now, but I just have a short attention span when it comes to rap. Like I literally have to read the lyrics. You have to read the lyrics. I have to. Who the fuck gonna give you their notebook to read the I lyrics? I mean, why Spotify am I gonna, actually I'm, has but you do, the lyrics. But you do a lot of songs with, with rappers. You know what I mean? Yeah, like but I learned I learned the song. Najee Janey. Yeah. Uh who else you did records with, man? You did records That's with it. mad niggas from my own. These are intentional it. rappers uh, That is it. Oh no. Nah, I'm also nah, I also actually, prefer nah, like really. conscious rap more than right. like I, this, these are intentional you said conscious some gangsta, rappers. Some gangsta like rap. right. Yeah, no, my friend my friends literally like clown me because I think you and Last Days would make a great record together. Oh, oh. man. Okay. Because that's actually, nah, that's actually great. Because Last like Days that. is yeah, a great songwriter. Who's just right? talking about and that? And I think wow. you, your your songwriting skills and his songwriting skills, with you on the hook and you having a bridge or a verse or whatever, I don't know no, how you No, I definitely love you know I mean? like to hear that balance of yeah. like I'm, my thing is I'm more I'll catch the hook more than the verses. When of it course. Comes to, rappers be wanting to, to rap. sing right now. No, they now. do. And I love I love rap. I have you know, a lot of respect for it and stuff like that, but it's just very cookie cutter for you. Mm. Not no. Say it's not easy. Say that. Go ahead. Say it's simple. Easy. Say it's easy. Oh no, it's not easy. Remedial. I tried to rap one time. I said, <laughs> "You think I gotta singing, breathe you and think say all these words?" It. Nah, yeah. singing is way harder than fucking rapping. Singing, but the, see, the thing for me, singing Sing. feels like talking. Like it if you tell me naturally. to sing right now, I literally it doesn't yes. feel like anything. Yes. But when it comes to rapping, like. I have respect for people that could do freestyles. Mm. I have, I, it's poetry, mm. but even with poetry, sometimes like it's just me. It's a it's a Miranda thing. Like I have to process it differently. 
like when I even like when I listen to rap albums, I literally listen to the album with the lyrics because mm. then I can understand it more and I connect with it and then I catch the words. But sometimes when the flow's going, I think for me, my problem is when I listen to rap music. So when I listen to R and B, the first thing I do is listen to the the melody, the of melody the singing. and the flow. But when I'm listening to R and when I'm listening to rap, the first thing I listen to is the beat. Mm -hmm. So my problem is I'm getting stuck in the drum loop and the bass and right. the the hi hats. I got that all got your own so song then, going on. I do that all the time. Because that's more melodic than yeah. like yeah. than like rap lyrics. So then once I hear the lyrics and whatever, I'm channeling my mind. Maybe I have ADHD. Who no, knows? you know what it is. You're you're a musician. So yeah. I'm, I'll be in the car with my wife all the time, and I'll be like, yo, you hear that? You hear that fucking drum line? That, she and like, she's like, no. Nigga. She's yeah. like, who, like, who listens to the drum line? <laughs> Me. And I'm like, you know, like that song, like I remember the first time I heard all of the lights in the car with my mm, wife. Mm, 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 and I'm like, that doom, 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 like, yeah. like, doom, 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 like, like, like that shit sounded so crazy to me. Like I was like, hey. Yo, yeah, and I'm like, yo, you hear this shit? And she's like, yeah, Rihanna. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I was no. like, fuck the, the the words. Yeah, like like it, it moved the shit out of me, right? Because I'm listening to the production on the music and things of that nature. So I understand that. That's how your mind. Because when I hear when I hear rap music, I first listen. That's what I hear first. So that's why I have to have words because it's like, okay, my mind is removed from every element yeah, and just yeah, focusing yeah. on one when i'm singing i remove the elements and just focus on the singing right. so i'll catch a melody before i catch that's why the hook is easier for me to catch <clears throat> than whatever but you know sometimes i wish i was a little gangsta now have you ever <laughs> listened to or heard of last days no no I don't want to embarrass myself. But. Holy shit. He gonna curse her around. You think last day? <laughs> <laughs> but he probably never heard of me. You think he, that's true? He might not have, but last day's energy is like, you don't need to hear me. I hear me. Okay. <laughs> so, you think last days would do a song for him? I think he would. I think he would. Call him right now. I think last days wants to be a singer so bad. And when he's would around you... Go ahead. other singers, I think, He'll channel into something amazing because yeah. again, like I said, his pen game is strong. I think my issue is not issue, but I think my thing is I don't do enough features. Also, mm. why is that? Yeah, you don't have a lot of features. I don't. Why is that? You don't like niggas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Sorry. Um, I don't know. I think also it's like a mixture of things. Like one, I'm very picky. Two, I think like I don't know, like. It's a sound thing. A lot of people just want me to hop on the thing. I mean, on the track, instead oh. of like meeting me. There's like no I don't even know you. Oh, yeah, Got yeah. it. And then you want me to like open my heart and sing this verse real quick. What'd you say? Huh? You said something. Proceed, my nigga. Okay. <laughs> no. Um. I think for me, it's like I have to have some sort of relationship. Okay. Got and it. And not on like friendship or whatever. Just understanding of like some kind what of I'm coming into. What's going on with that? Instead right. of just like a DM. You All smoke right. Weed? Yeah. You smoke weed and sing? Not often. Oh, that's fire, though. Mm. <laughs> you smoke before you came here? No. Okay. I just have little eyes. Damn, okay. nigga. You want to smoke it's now? It's the lashes. It's the lashes. <laughs> you want to smoke now? I got, like, Whatever the fuck he's smoking got my allergies. I mean, it's the fan, weed. No, it's, it's the, the fan. weed. It's I mean, the hoodie is very misleading. It is the weed. I was fine before I got here. Yeah, the fan makes you sick. If it's offered... I'll smoke, but I probably like I'm. I'm we'll smoke his shit. I don't want to like. Got dust. You're not gonna go out and buy it. I don't want to buy it and have it with me, and then right. I'm like smoking all the time. Right. Like I make it to a point <clears throat> so I don't get attached to weed in any way because I don't no want to smoke. Gotcha. You like gummies? See, I do, but I be getting a little slump. Uh, okay, yeah, a little it's too body Just high. Done. Just done. Okay. Like the first I time like I ever ate edibles, I think I had like two brownies because I wasn't working. And I should have just ate a corner of one brownie. I mm. ate like two brownies and I was stuck. Yeah, you was God. on fun employment. <laughs> I was stuck. Shit yeah. sounds like fun employment. I woke employment up, right it was there. like hours later, and my mom, she not about that too. So it was very scary to like, I don't know what to say to her. I did the so same I just told shit. Her that I was high. I ate two fucking brownies that this white guy made for me. Mm, they were strong. And he was like, 
and, and, and it's my man George, right? You he's had a brownie that a white guy made for you. Yeah, he's surprised. Like, and, he, and George talks like this, like, "Hey, hey, hey, Charles, man, you know when when, when you uh when you take these, you know you don't want to take the whole thing. You want to take like a quarter, just take a piece off of it, man." And uh, his voice is deeper I, than yours. Like he just talks oh. really low. Like I think he's like halfway deaf or some shit. Like no mm. bullshit. So he wants to make right? sure you listen, right? And I'm like, "Hi, right, George, whatever, nigga." But I took a bite and I was like, "Yo, this shit's banging, right?" Ate, Ate the whole two thing. of them joints. I'm at work. Oh, like the brownie just tasted good. Yeah. Mm, that's a problem. I'm at work. My legs start shaking uncontrollably. <laughs> Unless I was in motion. But if I was still, yeah. my legs was like, so you don't know. So I started walking and I'm like, okay. Oh so I start walking. <laughs> twerking, getting coffee. <laughs> I'm so, I start walking. <laughs> I enjoy it. <laughs> I start walking and I'm like, yo, if I keep walking, I'm straight. But so it's you like, speed walking? I don't have nothing to do. I ain't got no customer in front of me type shit. You know what I mean? It's when I was on the sales floor. And I'm like, yo. And then I stopped and I'm like, all right, now I'm straight. And I stopped. Nah, legs start shaking. Oh, no. Right? Were they shaking from the ankles up? Yo, son, it was my knees, fam. My oh, knees. Okay. My knees was buckling. Is. Right? <laughs> so then I'm like. a jumping jack. I so <laughs> Just then I'm like, I need to do, do something. <laughs> I need to do something to get my adrenaline rushing, right? We had this Drink Corvette water. on the lot, right? I was like, I'm going to drive the Corvette crazy. Oh, no. oh Lord oh, Jesus. Nigga, my anxiety, once I get in that car, it is stick. I'm down Route 1 doing like a buck 30. I'm like, oh, my fucking God, nigga. This is crazy. This is a bad idea. I got to go back. But I wouldn't a stop, car? nigga. No. A Corvette. Oh, Corvette. My yeah, God. like I'm forcing it. <laughs> I'm like 130. And then now I'm like, I'm in sixth gear. And I was like, if I downshift, my legs will start shaking again. Like, right? <laughs> now my head's going crazy. Yeah, that was the last time I did edibles. It was, yeah, it edibles was, is too it, much. It was You're terrible. not in control. I'm all set. You're not in control. It was, it was bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was bad. I like it. But anyway, Chanel was going to say something. Yeah, are are there any rappers that you have heard of? Maybe not have listened to their music, but you have heard of by somebody that you trust that you could see yourself collaborating with, like from Mass. Yeah, or that you want to <laughs> that you're working on because you said you was working What's on up? some music. She said, <laughs> <laughs> "I'm glad." Like, 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 like from <laughs> Mass, <laughs> <laughs> like from here, nigga. <laughs> Right here, not, nigga? No. Like, like these niggas? <laughs> yeah. These here, niggas? That's Who like are someone, these niggas? <laughs> I know it's like, you know, a cliche answer, but I really, really, really enjoy the artistry of Najee Janie. Like, Sorry. I know I already did a song with him, but like collabing with him is just like a, a dope vibe because it's just like the way he sounds, the melodicness of his flow, like... I think our, I think for me it's just how we blend mm. well vocally. Yeah, like, y'all did sound good. Nah, nah, I think incredible. that's like, like what I enjoy more. It's just like the melodic blends. Um, you know, I'm definitely open to features and working more with artists. I think that's like what I intentionally wanted to do. I think the reason why I didn't um, collab with anybody is because I didn't have anything for myself. Mm. So it's like, why am I gonna give you guys features if I don't even write my own? music like mm. i need to start i need to start working mm. on miranda first okay and then i feel like i've worked on myself and i feel like i'm ready to like branch out in other ways okay so that's, that's honestly why i haven't done collabs because i just feel like there's so much stuff that i have that i need to like complete and i felt incomplete like i'd mm. rather it's like a relationship okay I'd rather show complete that's real so. All right, now it. let's let's get into fashion because you know fashion and music are like brothers and sisters, and I think it's it's very important um, to really hone into to your fashion when you're an artist. You you have a unique way of dressing. Like sometimes you're bringing sexy, and then other times you're bringing you're cool, librarian. calm, and comfy. You said librarian, <laughs> like today. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> Not librarian because the glasses. Mean, is the <laughs> <laughs> I wear these because I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> and in a fashion statement, they got blind. <laughs> How would you describe your sense of fashion? I think I have. I could. I think I could have better sense of fashion. Like, personally. do you have a stylist that you work with, or do you I, just yeah? Dress so a, a style that I work with is Crystal, my friend Crystal. She's based in uh, Florida. Okay. And Chris Cassidy. 
Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little Latin queen. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> wow. Hello. Hello. She's fire. <laughs> but uh, I just uh, I use her when I need her. Mm-hmm. But I want to get a better relationship with clothes. Okay. And shopping. Um, okay. Maybe that just sound like a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no but it, it kind of is. Like in in reality, what? and it's like an. He said you made it sound like it's a person, like fashion, and it is. It it's is. like it's an inner person that you really got to tap into because, you could take me for example. Before I started dressing in all of these different prints and this and that, you will catch me in all black, maybe all red, a little bit of gray, maybe mm-hmm. some white. That's it. Very basic and typical. And then I started dibbling and dabbling in different prints and mixing stripes with floral and yeah. a little bling here and there. And, and it works. you got to just kind of find your niche. Um, yeah, like I want to get to a point where, like I have, someone told me it's Neems. Do you, know, you guys know who Neems is? Yeah. I heard yeah. of Neems. Yeah. So she don't she fuck to- with us, but proceed. Okay, my bad. Why? I don't know. <laughs> she just don't. But anyway, keep going. I never heard of that, but okay. Well, she told me that you need to think of, you know, your fashion as a uniform and i like that statement because it's like you're you're prepared to wear something and like that represents miranda Mm. right where it's like it doesn't have to feel like oh i'm wearing khakis and collared shirts every day it's like more like okay i'm becoming this person when i leave Mm. the house like Mm. i'm not gonna be caught Mm. slacking and Mm. i think that's my Mm. issue sometimes it's like i don't leave with that intention like maystar every time i see maystar oh yeah fire like i'm just like dress me he stitched everything he wear nigga (laughs) no for real and Uh it's just like i feel like for me when it comes to fashion I lack that. Like, I do. Like, look how I'm just chilling. I can right. You're comfy, with that. but that's what I said. Like, the comfy. But I do. I want, yeah. like, comfy. Like, if I had to choose, I would prefer, like, urban streetwear, like, comfy. Right. Like, Ella May. I don't know if you guys are on her show. Oh, but she had, I love like, the way she dresses. She had, like, a nice fitted corset and then big. Fly, like flowing Flare cargo dreams. pants and yeah. I would like that because I want to be a mixture of like sexy and comfortable or like you know I don't like know when you when you are is... dressed up you like you give me have you ever heard of Maya the Dawn yeah from New York the yeah. selfie rapper you give me Maya the Dawn oh I love her Lizzo song. like yo, Maya the Dawn meets gangsta, Lizzo yo. but she looks like she's gorgeous <laughs> Maya the dog gangsta shit she scares me <laughs> she is gangsta as fuck <laughs> yo, yo, but she's she gorgeous rap, and she, yeah, she's nah, comfortable yeah, nah, in her nah, skin does. and like if, if you know we're talking about body positivity yeah. and, and really like being confident and comfortable in who you are and what you wear mm-hmm. and I get that vibe from you cause when I yeah. see you wearing something sexy I'm like yes bitch like who cares if I got a, a role or two? Like, yeah, race, no, that is mean, all right. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I I love that. And my thing is is like, do you feel like you're showing up in uniform, or do you feel like I don't give a fuck about the uniform? I'm coming in, I'm performing, and my voice is gonna outshine what I'm wearing. Oh, I definitely. I don't want to say I don't care too much okay about how i show up but i definitely let me not say i don't want to i don't care how i show up because i definitely do but when it comes to like what i'm wearing it's probably not the first thing i'm thinking about but i definitely care about how i'm presented so my hair will always be done Mm -hmm. my makeup will always be done and then the last thing we work out is the outfit Mm -hmm. okay um but like I said, I definitely want to come into a place where, you know, maybe that's I have that of. one item that's mm-hmm. like repetitive, like the go-to, the go-to, like, like, like the umbrellas is maybe, always done. I'm yeah, done. maybe like for me, the <laughs> I'm I'm the what umbrellas? The umbrellas, the lashes. Mm. That's yeah. what they call them. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah, these that. are. <laughs> we we laugh every no. time like a little no. kid. Okay, we think I'm that's down. what I do. No, <laughs> I don't know what you do. I but don't know. I just heard that they're good for protection of your eyes. You know, if what? anything, I'm not gonna lie. I think that would cause a lot of problem if uh, glue got in my eye. Anyways. Oh, glue. <laughs> uh, uh. No, no, uh. no. I'm saying that. Oh, the she's moisture calling it glue. Will oh. loosen up the glue. All right. On oh, the lash, and that oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes. I don't yes, know which yes. glue we're talking about right no, no, now, we're talking but. About I know what y'all are talking about. Oh, okay. Not y'all. I know. That's yes. Okay. Shit's yes. not glue. My yes. shit's Olympic swimmers, nigga. <laughs> y'all niggas is disrespecting my shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> Yo, I'm oh, but you, I, I've I've learned 
to become intentional about what I wear. Like last year when my pops died, like I wore black literally like damn man every day. Thank you. Um, until the year was over, right? Um, so dressing the part, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, now motherfuckers be recognizing me and shit. I don't like that shit. I like it, but I don't like it because it's, it's weird. I, I be don't at work, like that shit. I be at work and then he's don't like, recognize Yo, son, you got Especially at the casino. And I'll be like, God, <laughs> you fucking live. Like, you know what I mean? Yo, did I just... But, like, you know, like gambling. today I'm wearing red. You know what I mean? Uh, autism acceptance month. You know what I mean? Yes. That's wow. April. My son's autistic and shit like that. You know what I mean? So, when. Presentation. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm very intentional on. on you know, I wore a shirt for her the other day. Like, women don't owe you shit. She ain't, she ain't really feel too too great about that shirt. You know what I mean? You know I mean? <laughs> Explain it. We have a woman here. This is our a first bit, female guest a, a bit, ever? Not, not, no, no. This After year? March. Yeah. No, Actually, not, not let this me year. see. No. Is it this year? No. So Hold good. on. So no. <laughs> now I got to verify and look. Explain yeah. to her. No, right, I want right. to hear because no, she's a woman. Please. Explain no, it, please. No, please. Last month Explain was it. Women's History <laughs> Month. Up. So I wore a shirt that said women don't owe you shit, right? When did you wear it? The last week of March. Did we have any female <laughs> guests for the month of March? You was gone. No. Guest. You was gone. Were there any guests? We were supposed to. The very last. You see, we this is like to. the first she, week we of April, to. right? She was or supposed the second to. second week of April. We had a female guest on the bill. already has. We had a female, we had, uh, uh, we, we had a female on the bill for March. She rescheduled, <laughs> if you recall, right? I never got the link Right. Yet. So there it go. There's three other weeks. Two. You was gone. So we got niggas. <laughs> what do you think about that? Right, that one like, what do you think about... These type of spaces and the hey, representation. Hey. What? The I representation think it's very nice of women. That you're part of this podcast. Uh, like I okay. think I think it's nice when there's a balance of men and women. Don't touch me. In podcasts. Because <laughs> there's a lot of podcasts where it's just men. Yeah. Podcasts where it's just women. Right. And I feel like the ones with just men, like sometimes if they had that woman's touch, the conversation would be, you know, a little bit interesting. That's why we number one, nigga, god damn yeah. it. Hit the button, nigga. Do you think there's enough flowers given? Not, so I'm not you? saying me per se, but just women in these spaces in general, in entertainment where there's like it's male dominated. I would say, on the circumstance, I feel like you know, it's probably not thought of. It's probably not the first thought. Because me, I, I realize that in my team, besides like beauty, there's just a lot of men on my team, mm. and sometimes I'm beauty's just like, a person. Hmm? Beauty's a person. No, besides like hair, makeup. Oh, clothes. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was confused. I didn't no, know what no, you no. About that. Besides like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, no, no, I don't no. Know I, I get it. I get it. That, that could be a name. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a creative space. I was just asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. I was just, I was right, just answering. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like besides the beauty department of ah, Miranda okay. Ray, like it's just men. Right. And sometimes I'm just like, where do the men realize that like women? make things move sometimes mm. like, and women don't owe you shit on dead dogs nigga no, they don't. let's get it <laughs> yeah. yeah but you could have better represented you. us you know what with I mean? that shirt yeah like, that shirt's perfect. i'm not calling you sweetheart right. bro <laughs> talking about the young lady behind you you know what i'm saying I, I love you my man but you're not my sweetheart you know said, come on in. <laughs> oh, nah we don't we don't because um <laughs> But, you know, if you didn't say nothing all month, maybe that's what she's trying to say. But it shouldn't be all month. It should just be all year. You know what I'm saying? That's like, you know. You know my I came name. from a woman, got my name from a woman. Woman. Huh? Yeah, I don't think you don't represent women. <laughs> right. We, 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 I mean, we, we, we love it up for women. <laughs> and if that were to be true, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> Who the fuck are you calling a bitch? Whoa, what? Did what? you just say what? we love y'all bitches? No, we, we love, love these I... bitches. Oh, Not okay. These. I yeah. thought he said y'all bitches. Nah, like... he didn't say y'all. He said these, these. bitches. Like, All right. like, 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 changes you know, the whole fucking shit. ears is partly clogged. <laughs> <with that. laughs> Just crazy. Yes. Not Fuck y'all. Fuck bitches, right? Fuck the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> so Miranda Ray, what's next for you, man? Yes, where's the music? Because you yeah, haven't dropped the, the project since yeah, 2019. Right? 2019. Yeah. Where's the album at? So what up? Where's the music? Can we get an album with more than 30 minutes long, please? Thank you. 
You look so mad. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out, too. Do like, we scream at you? You can scream. Uh, nah. nah, everybody did just get really mad. Nah, I've been, yell- I've been, I've been uh, yelled at. Um, I'm more mad at myself, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to. Someone said. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I gotta see if my excuse is good enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Proceed, queen. Go the ahead. Smarter you are, the smarter yeah, you excuse. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, it was mad or comfortable. You can't. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> be held up to an expectation if no one's expecting it. Oh, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like I hold myself to these expectations, but at the end of the day, no one's expecting it except for me. Mm. But you know, as an artist and my fellow artists who listen and watch, they understand that there's always obstacles in mm-hmm. the journey of music, mm. and that's why I try to make sure I'm present um, with singing all the time. And that's probably why I'm known more as a performer mm-hmm. than anything else because whew, it has been a long time. Yeah. But um, I just got the text today that my stuff will be mastered. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. So, so when we drop in, what's up? Let's go. I'm what's not gonna date? give no date because I was on an interview in in December thinking that I was gonna drop in February, and I was like, I'm not gonna say nothing because if I say February, it don't happen. Look, look where we are. Right. Yeah. Right. So what you saying? May so, May 17th, you said. <laughs> Six <laughs> months. Seven. What you say? I'm gonna do June 17th. June 17th. No. June 17th. June seventeenth. Yeah, you said I like that. No, I was just saying six one seven. I like that. I like that. That's good. Yeah, that's June seventeenth. What work. day is that? I think that's a Friday that's or something cute. like that. I no, like that. D- please do not. Please it. do yeah, not go, uh, be attached to any of these dates. We're ready to drop next episode. We're calling it Saturday. Name this episode. Perfect. Name this episode is June seventeenth. Yeah, yeah. You heard Friday, it here first. Friday, June 17th. You heard it here first. Saturday. Name of the episode. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Saturday. You got more than enough time. No, so I definitely. Um, Sweet Soul Saturday. I think I'm just going <laughs> to pop out with a single first. Okay. Get y'all annoyed. All right. All right. We've been there. Like We've done. We got those. <laughs> but I, it's been so long. I got to, like, you know, All you do love. is sell Lucy's. I can't just, you know. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> You like a, cigarettes. You Ego, like, my nigga. I got you, my nigga. You like that. You need that, though. You an Arab but corner you store, need nigga. That. <laughs> you still gonna take it? Yeah, that's I'm facts. buying that shit. Give you a facts. whole dollar. I keep holding down. Lucy, nigga. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's facts. See, that's I'm facts. in this internal debate right now if I should just drop a single and then the EP or just, a, you know, just the EP. But I feel like it's been so long that I could just get away with just the EP. But I definitely have seven songs ready. Mm. Okay. So, if I'm preparing you for that. Okay. Nah, I want At an album. Seven. I want an That's, album. Why wouldn't that be an seven album? No, songs? seven is good, but like, you said an, an album. EP. I feel like more, like you're album. more intentional when it's. No, it but okay, so I am no. working on an album. Okay. Yeah. Here so, we go. like, I feel like hard work goes into an album. Yeah, it's been Mixed hard work. EP, I've been doing like, songwriting sessions since July. I definitely took a break, probably. Like Christmas to like March, because I was doing like the tour thing. Okay. But um, I'm definitely bringing that back. Uh, I would like to share something with you guys if you want. But Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Exclusive? I'll give you exclusive. Yeah. Uh, come on. We need that. Oh, you about to sing? Tonight? No, I'm going to give you exclusive tonight. You're going to sing that shit? Oh, you going to sing really? that shit? You want me to sing it? You sing that shit. Yeah. Right, yeah. What? You gonna Red sing Cups it and RB, that up, shit. Miranda? Red Cups and RB. We what? haven't done this in a while. We haven't done no ever. You want it over the beat or you want it? Oh, absolutely. no, no, no. Yeah, yeah we'll wrap this up. We'll wrap this up. Yeah, we want it on the beat. We want it on the beat. We're going to get it right. We're going to oh, get I you right. That. You know what I'm saying? This is exciting. We don't got to add no effects to your voice. That's the best yeah, thing. Yeah, that's the best shit. Because you can say. Give me some more wine. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Pop that yo, shit. Open them shit. <laughs> hey, yo. More cleanse you there. He over there. Oh, yeah. politics. He's politics. Uh, got got, got, got <laughs> Figgy Miss here. Got Figgy Miss here. This one already open right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one's already open. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. That's red. Do you drink red? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Red. But no. Um, Her hair red. I've been working on visuals. Uh-huh. I've been working on a whole rollout. So when I come, I don't come to play. Okay. Dang. I like that. I so like I that. hope, you know, I put a lot of work into this. And some of the songs you might know because I definitely sing them a lot, like on my Instagram, if you're like following that, or if you come to my live performances. But um, it's just nice to finally have like a body of work or something released. I know I've been taking a long time. Yes. Yeah. And I don't have. Yes. 
<laughs> and I don't have much to say at this point. It's okay. It's all right. Really we forgive don't. you. Life be life. You forgive me. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Cash. I don't know if yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah. I just want to hear it drop. No, first. look. Okay. And I then forgive, I'll forgive you. I forgive her. You want me to go cry? Not oh, yet. Oh okay. no. After you sing, you can cry. No. <laughs> But I Yo, appreciate y'all up, like, this, you know, this, this was fun, Miranda. Um, no, it's the weed, it's the nigga. Is, is there anything that you definitely want to touch on that we didn't talk about tonight? Hmm. No, I think uh, you really called me out with the 2019. The music? Or? With the music dropping. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, so you want a BMA in 2020, right? Yeah, and I never got one of these. Paul, why didn't you the get a plaque, man? Up, Paul. I never got a plaque. Paul, why, why is that? Were, were you there at the at the ceremony? Like at the they didn't award have show? one. They literally made an announcement. They said, oh, yeah. well, they, well, they, they were well, like, they. oh, we're working on it. We're going to have one. Oh, it was the bubble year. Oh, yeah. 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 You said the year that didn't matter. That didn't matter. Oh. Is that oh. an on button? Oh, uh, no, it was a gunshot. It was a gunshot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead now. <laughs> You're done him. Now, who won last year R and B? Uh Notebook P. Oh, shout out to Notebook P. And that was his second year in a row, right? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to him. Yeah, if it's not me, it's P. That's what we're saying. I really thought the year P. before Amandi should have won. Oh yeah. I might be biased though. Uh, no, no, no. I was I, I thought should have won. I thought it was either gonna be Sorry, P not sorry. Amandi, yeah. But I really thought it was gonna be Amandi. It should have I feel like it should have been Amandi, yeah. but yeah. he was I love Amandi. Yeah. Any out collaborations with him? Shout out to my man Amandi, man. I would yeah. love to do a collaboration with Amandi. That would be dope. I'm surprised y'all haven't. Uh, it's probably me. My life has been lifing, guys. You see? You I see? know. Come on, Miranda. You're fucking so problematic. I know. <laughs> Stop letting these niggas fuck with your life, dog. It's not you know even I mean? that. It's like, is I, it the nigga you singing about? Yeah, hmm? this nigga takes like, out to eat all the time. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite restaurant? What's your top three favorite restaurants? My top three? Yeah, you love Cheesecake? I love Cheesecake Factory. Not Cheesecake. I used to really cheesecake love Cheesecake Factory, cool, but, but not as They make it a comeback. Like, go yeah. to's, your go to's. They're I'm not trendy. talking about fine I really dining. like All Seasons Table okay. in Malden. I don't know what that is. I don't okay. know. It's, it's like it. Asian cuisine. Okay. Okay. Um, what else do I like? We went to Bootleg Special the other day. That oh my god, I haven't been to Bootleg Special in so long. Still don't know what that is. What? It's like seafood. Oh well, no, you can't really. I don't eat seafood. Yeah, yeah. yeah, seafood no. is not. I really want to try Hugh in Back Bay. I heard of it. I heard of Hugh as well. Oh, I heard you it looks really fucking good. Fucking expensive. You what you thought I was gonna say? Fancy. Applebee's, right? You heard mm. this nigga? He said cheesecake. Cheesecake. What was you about to say next? Fridays. <laughs> I, I like uh, Chili's. What's it called? Earls. Earl's Earl is good. Don't cool. fucking Earl's shit. Earl's is good. Earl's. Chili's. I like Earl's. <laughs> don't like you? Earl's. <laughs> don't fucking. I was about to say Chili's. Don't bring it there to Chili's, my I really like Haitian food. I'm not going to lie. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Highland Cuisine. That's good. Highland Cuisine is, yeah, is, is, is Malden, good. right? I'm not going for Somerville. I'm not going for that, I'm not going to front. Oasis in Norwood, which is Oasis crazy. Oasis, the, the Brazilian? No, it's oh. Haitian. Haitian? Yes. Wow. In Norwood. In Norwood? Fire. Yo, yo, mummy, mummy, yo, mummy be killing it, dog. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Never you go up it. in there. Oasis. Yeah, you gotta fuck with Oasis and Norway. Okay, I'm gonna man. fuck with that. Yeah, I mean, um, right. you know, but yeah, man. But I just been cooking a lot. That's why I can't give you an answer, mm. a good solid answer. That's fair. That's fair. That's Miranda's dope. Kitchen. You can't trust uh, these restaurants anyway. No. And their the prices are just getting. That's They're ridiculous. Inflation's a bitch. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Right. That's why you got a free big T, man. Free big T. Free big T. Look that, man. You know what I'm saying? Damn right. saying, Biden ain't never gave me shit. Not a, not a damn dollar. BT, Big T sent me checks with his name on it. He ain't sent me shit neither. But <laughs> I'm sorry, I, like, Who's Big I T? can't really. Now we just put it together, please. <laughs> Big he T sent me checks with his motherfucking name on it. God damn it! I ain't getting nothing more than that name. Not a you I ain't broke me? like me. I ain't. I ain't experienced. <laughs> I didn't experience I that. I was happy for y'all, though. I was happy Thank for y'all. Yeah, damn You know right. what my stimulus was? It was like $67. I'm what? done. Yeah. yeah. Did it have Donald Trump's name yeah. on it? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to damn Big T. Right. Yeah, but whatever. You got that little money I sent y'all? <laughs> <laughs> you got that little money I sent y'all? I love that meme, nigga. Uh, but yo, man, this was fun. Yeah, I'm ready for Miranda, the R&B bars. R&B bars. I want to hear you sing, girl. 
I was okay practicing because um, I thought y'all was gonna make me freestyle. Uh, look, and I was sitting so at home go. like, so let's go, <laughs> oh, yeah. so let's go, so let's go. Whatever you do, is key is motherfuckers. We had A1. Miranda Ray in the building, man. You snap Episode for her, goddamn it! You snap for her, goddamn it! I am Charlie Machine. That's Auntie now. Hey, Auntie, Auntie. with the allergies. Uh, hey, Auntie. It's the fan in here. Yo. That's weed. cash. No motherfucking sense. Pray for weed the parlay. We're Celtic TFV Radio, man. We love y'all. Till next time, we the fuck out of here, man. Come on, baby. <laughs> We're in the ring. Let's go, baby. Yeah. yeah.